Needs Knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife, Kara, will be joining us in just a second. She's getting her pants on. Hey, don't be telling them that. Oh, come on. There we go. How's everybody doing tonight? Michael Wallaby, Penny, Cody. Oh, let me put this on live. Make sure that sound's turned down right away. What's up, Fink? Why is it doing that? It's breathing. Is it always act like that? Well, no, no, it just, like, it'll Why don't go you put like, the things under it'll it? It'll stop. Okay. Um, so I originally had a video I was going to put up um, earlier, but uh, I wasn't able to. So, um, I'm not going to talk about the whole thing, obviously, because I still have the video and I did a bunch of editing. And I was talking about that new AARP. You want to tell them why you couldn't post it? No, it's okay. Um, I'll tell them. I was gently talking in the background, ever so quietly. She was cussing and screaming. No, I was not. You have no idea what you were doing. I was not swearing. You have, yes, you were. I wish I wish I could show you how. During your video? You were talking about picking up, I, mean, I can't even say the word yet. Like bundles. tons of bundles. Of that it. was before. Bundles. That was before. I well, that might have been right before, but still. If those that were occurred, the, I didn't know about it. But those were the things that you were screaming before I ever started recording. Yeah, So but then, then I reined it in So when but, I knew you started. No, what I'm saying is I didn't start recording until after all of that. Yes. Right. So those were the reasons why. Because of the cussing, the screaming, the Oh, but I told stuff. you that you could uh, tell me when you And then when I did, you still... You're still loud. You weren't I didn't say anything bad, it's okay. though. It's okay. I don't, I don't... I didn't say anything I bad. I don't know. You might have. No, I just was I like, wasn't paying attention, but I wouldn't doubt it. I was talking about guinea pigs and some it. other stuff. Um, anyways, but uh, we were talking... Uh, or in the video, I was uh, talking about... Man, that thing's annoying. The AARP M9 Steel. But, uh... But before that, I didn't get to talk too much about... The the K three ninety. You gotta so I'm, come down a little or something. I'm like so short. All right. So now I'll just talk about it now. Yeah. Um. But so I finally sharpened this K three ninety, and I don't know. I don't know a lot about K three ninety. This is the first K three ninety I've ever had. Um. I'm sure some of you guys know about K three ninety, and I am enjoying it. I um. I used it until the edge was just shot. Was completely done. Which I guess took quite a bit. I would have thought it would have took a little bit more, but also it was the factory edge, and most people know factory edges, they don't usually last that long. Not compared to, um, you know, a good edge. Um, they're, they sometimes are burnt, and I don't doubt that uh, steel like this wouldn't be burnt. I don't know. Anyways, my point is is that I did, I did get quite a bit of life out of it, and uh, used the heck out of it. Then uh, it was shot. There was no stropping it, no honing it. I had to put a full edge on it. And then, but I didn't know, because trying to find information, excuse me, the information that I found on what kind of edge K390 likes, like I kind of found, kind of found mixed uh, feelings. So I found some people saying that, you know, that uh, if you're going to use like Veneve stones or those type of stones, then you can go with a high polish because those stones, see, let me back up for a second. So K390 is, like, is and I'm not going to get too scientific, but it's a, it's like a high carbide steel. So in order to sharpen it, you, you want to use diamonds because like say aluminum oxide, aluminum oxide will have no problem sharpening it, but it's not actually sharpening it because the carbides are harder than the aluminum oxide. Um, so it basically tears the, the, the carbides out. So you want to use diamonds. And I know a lot of people argue, well, ceramic stones, they're made from aluminum oxide. And sapphires, sapphires are made from aluminum oxide. A lot of things are made from aluminum oxide. But it's still there's still a difference in hardness between like an aluminum oxide stone versus a ceramic stone. Yes, they're still made out of aluminum oxide, but it's still it's different. And I wouldn't sharpen the knife with a ceramic stone. I would maybe hone it, like use it as a finishing stone, but in that case I'm not sharpening it. I'm basically just pushing it. 
Anyways, I digress, as uh, <coughs> Nick Shabazz would say. Anyways, so I, uh, but with the Veneve stones, they're made out of diamond. So, and it goes up to 5,000 grit, and people are saying, like, or a lot of people say that steels like this, like, that's, um, like, kind of the where, like, you can get the max out of them, right? Like, like this is the type of steels that those are made for high carbide steels and what's up Talica so I tried for my first edge um the mirror polish now I also found a lot of information with people saying that no you want to use a low grit because of the makeup of the steel it does best or the beauty of the steel I should say is when it's with a low grit and aggressive edge um so I'm going to try both. I have a mirror on it right now. I'm going to test the mirror on it, and then I can always throw a low grit on it after, say, a week or, I don't know, a few days of using it. We'll see how long it lasts, because I'm going to try to test it as much as possible. What's up, base? Um, seems logical, Teddy. Wait, like, 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 like. Yes, please drop a like. Please drop a like. It helps people. We already got a dislike, so... What are you guys uh, not doing giving us likes when we already got a dislike? At least he's in here. Shit. <laughs> um, but, uh, but yeah, it does help us to, to get into the recommendations of people's videos. Hey, Ma. Um, Dawn's in here? I didn't see Dawn yet. Um, Aaron. <laughs> but anyway, so... But I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, this is my first K390, so I really have no personal experience on whether or not it does better with the polish or the toothy. I know, like, in my experience, like, S35 doesn't do great with a mirror polish, but I can get pretty close to a mirror polish before the, the bite will go away. And the bite is basically... Like, when you're, like, say, say if you're going to cut some cardboard. If you ever try to cut cardboard and it kind of folds up because you're, like, you're trying to push through it and you just can't get the blade to get into it. Um, the, the bite is when, like, you, you, you first hit the, the cardboard with the edge and it just starts going into it. It's biting into it. It has bite. If it doesn't have bite, you're basically just smushing it through. Um, not much flicking... Right. Flicking, Flicking and a and grinning. grinning. I gotcha, I gotcha. America is ran by China after this year. They have topped our mountain. Yeah, I know it sucks, man. It does suck. It, and I think it's uh, sad how many people don't realize it. <clears throat> but what are you going to do, man? What are you going to do? I feel like our lives get brighter every week. Keep on keeping on, I guess. Um, I think it's, it's sad how much... Um, not to get too political, but how much one side is ran by the Chinese uh, Communist Party. Um, let's smoke a bowl, Jason says. Um, but, um, anyways, so, but oh, what I was saying is that S35VN, it doesn't really do that good as a mirror polish. I notice I can get really high grit on it, but not like mirror, right? Um, I think, like, when I do my Venice stones, I can get to, like, 7.5 micron, but once I get to 3.2 micron, all the teeth go away. All the bite, it just loses it. That stuff's delicious, by the way. Mm. But S30V does great. S30V, I mean, it, in my opinion, I mean, all the S30V I sharpen, I can give it a uh, um, mirror polish, and it does great. <laughs> Show us a close-up. I can't, that, you can't, with the lives, it's not, um... A close-up of what? Anything. <laughs> no, what are they asking? The see? edge. You can't see it because the, the quality of a live yeah. isn't good. <clears throat> I can try. Yeah, she can try. I'll try my darndest. Man, that thing drives me nuts. Oh, it's gonna be okay. Yeah, I don't think this camera would focus it won't, on this it for its on life. Things. It's yeah. the camera quality for a live. This is the yeah, same. Yeah, but don't other people do lives and not have these issues? They don't do close-ups. 
They do the same thing we're doing. Or they just do like a top down, but they never do close ups. Like. It just doesn't, because it's going at the same time. It's being uploaded at the same time, so the quality is just not that good. I mean, I don't doubt that if we had, like, 5G and, I don't know, probably a bunch of other shit, like a, uh, an amazing camera or something. I don't think My mom said hi. has much to do with it. I don't know. Hey, Mom. I'm guessing. <laughs> it's a <laughs> guess. Master K390 before me, before your knife arrives. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying. Like I said, I heard, um, who was it? I heard Triple B. He was talking about putting a very low grit on his, and I think he was finishing off with a ceramic. So he did, I think he just like knocked off the burr though and then stropped. But he was doing a really low grit. I think like three, four hundred grit or something. Something real low. And he was saying that's the way he likes it. I don't doubt he hasn't done it in every way because he's probably dealt with K390 so much. I'm probably taking his opinion from one video and he's probably done, a, you know, a hundred different K390 videos. I don't know. But I think I was watching um, Mike, Christ, Mike Christie. He did, uh, he was doing a polish on his. Um, but yeah, I don't. I don't know. Like I said, I'll find out. I, you know, I think some of it has to do with preference at a point, but then there's also just the steel, right? The the steel, the heat treat has a lot to do with it. But usually K three ninety, I think, is done at even for like say K three ninety just done normal is still at a high HRC. So I don't know. Um, but when it's done like really high, um, either way, it's still at a high HRC, so I'm sure there's going to be a preference in what type of edge it likes. But there are steels, though, that are just like however you like it. Like, it seems like all steels do okay at a low grit. It's just some steels don't do good at a high grit. Some steels do better at a very low grit, but there's like a, like between like 400 and like 1,000 grit, almost all steels do good in. But some steels will do really good at a low grit, and then some steels can do really good at a high grit. It just depends. Um, USPS lost my smock in the mail. Oh, it sucks. I'm pissed because... I can't find any in stock to buy. That sucks, man. That, that's the mail right now. That's why I waited. That's why I waited for these giveaways. That's why I waited for everything. Because when I go to the post office, I'm going to be sending out probably like seven packages. No, probably nine packages. So the last yeah. thing I want is that much money getting lost, especially when I just dealt with them taking three weeks just to get a package out of Chicago. After they told me three days. Like, it's crazy when it's Tuesday and they said, yeah, it'll arrive on a Thursday. Three weeks later, it's still in your city. Like, that doesn't make sense. So, I was like, you know, I'm just waiting until after the holidays to do the giveaways. I'm waiting until after the holidays to return everybody's stuff back. I'm not risking somebody thousands of dollars and stuff for for USPS or UPS to, to mess. What are you looking at? I don't know. <laughs> To, uh, to lose shit. I waited three weeks. Uh, See? I, it sucks, man. Hey. What, what, what? I have a fucking steel question for you. Is that okay? Yeah, baby. I, can I, I ask well, you about steel? I know you can don't I want ask to. You, you first, don't want to, but it's okay. You, first, you can. Can I ask you first yeah. why the bill of your hat perfectly matches your shirt? Does it? Like, it looks like it's like a... When I, it looks like it's like my outfit. Like, it's meant to I thought it was another. a little lighter. No, it looks oh, like that. It's matching light. your hair. My hair's not no. orange. I know, but it's your dumb light in the that video, makes it look regardless, orange. I'm saying in the video we're your matching. Your stupid light makes my hair look orange. I matched you, baby. I did this on purpose. It's not. I did this on purpose, baby. I was trying to match my bae. Does it look like that? Oh my god, it does. Ew. I'm, I'm That's my not bae. the color of my hair. <laughs> it's golden, like a lion. Anyway, you know that new steel that CJRB has? Yeah, that's what I did the video on. What? The video that What's I... What's it called? What do you mean? What's the steel called? AARPM9. Yeah, that one. What about it? Somebody said they wanted to talk about it. We can talk about it. I just did a video on it, but we can talk so about can it. Can we talk about it now? Yeah, we can talk about it right now. 
You want to talk about it? I know it's a budget steal. It's it's a budget steal <clears throat> for sure. Um, I was kind of compare it to D two. That's what I want to uh, know. I'm gonna lead this interview. Uh, did you listen to my video earlier or something? Okay, we've already established I had a, another person talk in my ear. Okay, okay and well, I had a game in my other ear. In so the how the fuck did I in listen the video, to your video? In the video, I mentioned that uh, I wanted to do testing on it and compare it to D two. Because that, oh really? I yes. swear I didn't hear you say that. Well, because you have their D two that they use, and then their AAR PM nine steel. You have one of the two that they're dealing with, and I don't know how much they're going to use the AAR PM nine, but and I advocate or advocate for you guys to go and watch Outpost seventy six's video on it. You will get much more reliable information from him. Because he does a, uh, his tests are controlled. I did not do controlled testing. My, my testing is sporadic. It's crazy. <clears throat> anyway, so, but, um, so, when I, what are you doing? What's wrong? Go grab another one. So, when I first, um, tried it, it was on a prototype. I didn't mind it, but I didn't test it that much, but... I was really excited about how well it was dropping back. It drops back really good. And I've even noticed that on mine, how good it drops back. The Azure Tension, not so much. And I never thought it was horrible. Like, now, Outpost 76's results are a little different than mine. But like I said, his are controlled. Mine are not. So I never thought it was that horrible, but I never thought it was great. But it does drop back really well. Uh... I, but I also kind of noticed that I'm getting a little bit different results between sharpening it on diamond and aluminum oxide. Now, I did not go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth to really know how true that is. So, it's hard for me to make a statement like that without doing it five or six times. But it seemed that I was getting a little bit better performance out of it when I sharpened out aluminum oxide. Like I said, I only did it once. Um, but... It doesn't have that great edge retention, but you can strap it back. Now, the question is, is that does it have better edge retention than D2? I don't think so. I think D2 is going to outbeat it on edge retention uh, pretty good. Um, I find that it's a little bit like 440C, I think. I feel like. Uh, I mean, it's hard to say that, though, because, like I said, I didn't do a controlled test, so I can't positively say that. Also... I was doing like impact tests, like I was smacking it against shit, I was smacking it against wood, um, I even smacked it against some metal. Now the wood, it did really good on for me, um, it did, I mean I beat the hell out the of it. The wood did good for you? No, the steel did good against the wood, but once I, I lightly tapped some metal, mm -hmm. and it ruined the edge, like I couldn't strap it back, Whoa. couldn't hold it back. Now this is the weird thing though, when I, when I got that, I got uh, that prototype, that had been to hammered through copper wire, that honed right back, like, so easily. I never would have thought in a million years it would ever hone back. Can I back. say something? Yeah, baby. On behalf of Pants. Pants? What's up, Pants? Pants sums it up well. What? Without so many words. It was never supposed to have... Go ahead, baby. Read <laughs> it. Read it. Sorry. That's okay. Go ahead. No, go ahead. It was never supposed to have better retention than D2. It's just powdered 9CR that somehow has better edge stability. I think that's... But that, book open, book closed. Next deal, moving on. No. Yes. I, the, the thing is, though, is I don't think it does. I don't think it does have better edge stability than 9CR. I don't I don't know, but, like, if you watch well, out... powdered 9CR is what you said. That's I know. A powdered version would be a, a better... It would be a little bit better of a version. So it would be, like, right. 9CR better edge stability. And I'm saying I don't think it does. I don't know for sure, but watch out post 76's video and he's got controlled testing and he's showing some pretty bad results. Now, and he got that on three separate models. Like I said, I don't want to speak for him, so just go watch it. Um, not right now though. We're watching fucking needs knives. <laughs> no, um What's up, Mike Emla? <clears throat> what's up, Emla? Mike? But Mike um Emla. But like I said, I don't If you ever seen Mike Emla, you should go watch him if you haven't. Yeah, like definitely. Go check out Mike Emler's channel. He's, uh, 
<clears throat> you said he was taking oh, a week God. off while well, stopping him from being right behind my back. I like to think. But anyways, I don't I don't know a hundred percent. Like I said, I haven't done controlled testing on it, but in my video I do like just um random testing on it and I give my opinion on what I think. But I will say this though. So if I have a steel, right? Say this steel. <laughs> What's so funny? I want to hear it now. It's the talking shit. Seems like I'm trying to. Care outfit makes her look like this. <laughs> that is funny. That is hilarious. So what I was gonna say is, if I have a steel that will will say strap back twice, right? Like say during testing, it'll strap back say twice two, maybe three times before I have to sharpen it versus a steel that'll strap back, say, five to ten times, then I'm going to get probably more performance out of the one steel that'll strap back more times. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, what's up, Logan? <clears throat> you know what's funny about the outfit comments is I wore this exact same outfit like two lives ago, but in Did you? In grip. In, oh, and in, I was about to say, gray, I thought you just got that. In gray, and no one fucking said a word. Come out here in some color, and y'all got shit Baby, to say. Baby, don't do that. Don't do that, please. What? You're going to want to knock shit over. I thought you said my space was clear. No. I thought you gave me freedom. I said for you to go this way. That's what I meant. But. But, but, nothing. I'm in the zone. Yeah, but it's only a matter of time for you to do that after you've after you've rolled a little bit. I just bit. want to test it a couple times. I know, I see that. You're testing. You're <laughs> testing to see how upset I'm going to get. Um, <laughs> Night Sergeant said, I think, wait, <clears throat> I think I just about got this YouTube thing figured out after 120, <laughs> after 120 videos. Started using my phone instead of my camera, getting better results. I use my phone. I definitely use my phone. I don't use a camera. I even edit on my phone. We just got a laptop. And I still haven't edited nothing on it, so I haven't even tried it yet, but we just got it, so I need to learn on it. I hear from a lot of people that say that, like, when you tell them, like, oh, I edit on my phone, they're always like, ooh, I feel bad for you, you know, because it's so much easier, supposedly, I don't know, it's because I don't do it, on a, on a computer. So, we'll see. I don't know, but I do know, though, that it's not that hard on a phone once you figure it out, and my camera's really good. Like, a lot of cameras are really good. Hers is even better than mine on the iPhone. So, and Mike Emler says he only uses his phone. These days, man, you can run an entire channel off of just having a phone. You don't need a computer or nothing. Um, the one problem I had, though, for a while, remember, I couldn't get into, I mean, I had the YouTube app, but I couldn't get in to do, like, my, uh, like, for the AdSense and stuff. I couldn't pick anything. Then finally, I got an update on uh, the YouTube uh, Studio app or whatever, and it allowed me to do a little bit. I don't remember that. Yeah. yeah. I just I just got it like. Oh, remember we talked about it. it doesn't matter. So, um, um, is it uh is it really hot over here right now? No. It's super hot over here. Okay. Fine. Good change. No. <laughs> I like my helmet. <laughs> but this I think it is, I think, nuts, it is uh, I think it's really, really hot. It's probably over It's the... probably what it is. Yeah, go ahead. This thing's probably like going in the microphone. Can you guys hear the computer fan to a level that's extremely annoying? Can you guys hear that? They're not all screaming. No. Yes. Um, what's up, screaming. Stasa? I can definitely. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, Stasa23, hurry up and slap yourself in the face and then go sub to his channel. Keep the fan on. See? He can hear it. He can hear it. Believe it on. But nope. Can I? Everyone is saying different Why shit. don't you just grab the things? Doesn't that help? No. It's just the doing feet? that because it has to cool down its innards. I don't understand why it has to cool down when it's been off. It hasn't been off. You know what I mean. Closed. You know what I mean. It hasn't been doing anything. Is that how you think computers work? Yeah. Isn't it? Uh, Isn't it? Now everyone hears it because you brought attention to it. Told you. 
Nobody heard it before that. It's loud as shit. Then laptops heat up very quickly. Yeah. Um. We have the feet though that go underneath it to lift it up to get air that's to go not, underneath that it. That doesn't help cool it down. What no, that it helps, helps bring air to the fans. No. What the only thing that helps is you can ruin your computer if your fan is always blocked. It still will be on no matter what. That's what I'm talking about, though. It helps bring air to it, so it'll cool down faster. If it needs to cool down, the best way for it to cool down is to have it's oxygen going through the fan. That's okay. all I'm saying. Okay, that's um, exactly what they do. And cools down faster. You should invest in a cool... Yeah, we got one. That's that's what I'm talking about right now. We have one. She just doesn't like to use it. Ever. It's, I'm joking. It's not sitting... Look, half the fan when I had it over here is out off the... With no with I know, space it's on under. top of foam, baby. I know. No. It's, it's, I know, I'm saying it even half has... Half of it was over this. I understand, baby. Even though it's on this, it has air going underneath it. This is texture. I'm getting so hot talking about fans. You need a fan, it sounds I'm like. I'm really hot. It's so hot. <laughs> sounds like you're the one that needs a fan. I can't hear over the constant knife flicking. <laughs> yeah, sounds like that's my probably wife. worse than any fan. <laughs> uh, Somebody kept bitching about that last live, too. Well, if I wanted to hear arguments, I would talk to my wife. <laughs> <laughs> All my favorite channels in one place. I know, it's awesome to have everybody in here. That's cool. I appreciate you guys being in here. If you guys don't mind... Drop in a like before we call out all your names that uh, oh, that yeah, haven't dropped it. a like yet. If you guys don't know, we're starting to do that now. Whoever doesn't drop a like, we're just going <laughs> to fucking call you out right off the bat. Like Mike M1, he's dropped a like. What's wrong with all of you guys? He dropped a like. Eggs and ham, what are you doing, man? Drop a like. <laughs> um, <clears throat> are you... Are you are you changing or grabbing the feet? Both. Both. <laughs> okay, so um, I've talked. I talked about this in the last video, and somebody was asking me what it does or what the benefits are. So I dropped a twenty degree angle, or I think it was twenty two and a half degree angle on one side when I sharpen it, and then the other side is at fifteen degrees. So. I guess you could say it's kind of like a chisel grind, but it's not quite a chisel grind because it's still sharpened on the other side, just not to the angle the other side is. And somebody was asking me what the benefits are with that. Um, and, excuse me. So, there, there's a, a couple like, I don't know if they're theories or not, but some people say that when you cut, like say with a chisel grind, it tends to turn, right? I've cut with a lot of chisel grinds. I haven't found much of that unless if I'm getting, cutting into wood. I don't cut much wood with my knife. And in that case, still, a chisel is really good. Hey, Mike, thanks, bud. Thank you. Really um, we appreciate it, bud. Do all donations are very, very helpful. Thank you. Thank you. Um, But chisel grinds, though, they, they work good in wood, to be honest. Um. Because they're they're gonna bite and then turn towards you know into the material. Anyways, since I sharpened this knife, which is thick spine, thick behind the edge, and did not cut very well. Great EDC knife. So just for cutting basic EDC stuff like cutting a string, cutting a strap, maybe putting a couple cuts through cardboard, no big deal. Cuts fine. But when you do repeat cuts, or if you have to go through double walled cardboard, or or you know anything like that, anything dense, or it does not cut good at all because it's thick behind the edge. the The grind is very very short, so the the geometry is you didn't tell me there was very rapid. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. Anyways, since I've done this, this thing cuts probably five times better, at least five times better than it did before I did this. And I've noticed the edge retention is still just as good as a low angle, meaning um, it didn't get more fragile. It's been really tough. It's been holding up really good. Um, so I feel like I have the benefits. Ha! That was funny. Sorry. I feel like I have the <laughs> benefits of a, of a, um, a low angle and the the benefits of the high angle all in one package 
I don't know if that's true. What's up, Alex? Hey, whoever doesn't okay. know Alex's knife box, go check his channel out too. We got everybody up, in the house Alex? Look um, how fucking dumb this is now. Why? Why is it dumb? Because the... Never mind. Just scoot it back Just, a little you know bit. What? I hope you're happy with the feet. I hope you guys are happy with the outfit. Everyone can shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so I feel like I almost want to do this to other knives that don't cut that good. It literally increased the performance that much that it makes me want to, to do more edges like this. And it, it just cuts so much better. Like I said, the retention, I feel like it's got almost like the retention um, of... You were supposed to show them the rocks that at 40 likes. Or the strength. Who said that? I don't know, Breeze. Breeze makes some rules, right? The um the retention <laughs> is, is really good and the performance is really good. <laughs> But you know you called out eggs and ham for not liking the stream like when he was only in it for like two seconds, right? Well, hey, hey, I only called it out because I you didn't see the like. You were just the, the first light. name on the list, that's all. You were just the first name on the list. That's what we do. Um, but I appreciate you dropping the like now, bud. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Um, but let me finish what I was saying and then I'll bust it out. <laughs> um, that didn't sound that good. Um, anyways, but, so, like, the, the benefits, I guess, of, say, a chisel grind would be that, I, I mean, I, there's some benefits and some, do, I guess, downsides, but the benefits would be that it does enter into material a little bit better than, say, a V-grind could, possibly. I guess it depends on a few things, but certain knives that maybe don't cut as good, you could possibly get a lot better cutting performance out of doing this. And if I showed you the difference between how good it cut before versus now, night and day. I'm talking about, like, I enjoy <laughs> cutting with that now. I never would have thought, like, that'd be a knife like that I would enjoy cutting with. <sighs> All right. I do have this. I do have a lot of this table pretty or pretty cleaned off. I know there's a few knives up here right now, but you guys are lucky the rock stead's still up here. You guys are lucky the stead is still up here. Steadman. Steadman, yeah, you're lucky Steadman's still up here. Rock Steadman, that's his uh, fan that's like his formal name, Rockford Steadman. Yeah. The Rockstead Shego, looking at myself, very smooth. Oh, you saw uh, Jared's chat with Bob? The that whole time, my... that whole chat where you were like, well, Bob. I didn't do that that time because I the thought about is, that the Bob, whole time. Is that, uh, you know, when I tried no, to get no, knife, no, Bob. No, 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 no. Everybody talked or told me that I did not do it that time. Someone you even... know, Bob. See, seems logical, gets it. You know, Bob. Um, what Good do you think, Bob. what do you think, Bob? Because, you know, Bob, I was thinking that maybe, uh, Bob, listen, this is my opinion on it, alright, Bob? If you just, if you no, just no, listen no. to me for one second, you, Bob. You have to, you have to, uh, you have to get in a little bit more of your little 1980s radio host mood. Well, listen here, Bob. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Maybe. All right, Bob. If you if you go back to the edge and you look at it really good, Bob. Can you see that, Bob? Bob, what I'm trying to say here, Bob. No, yes, I didn't exactly. do that. I did not talk like that. Bob, your I, hair looks amazing. Yes. <laughs> I kept I kept Bob's name out of my mouth no, the last um, live. Yes, I did. It's a lot less. I um, said a lot less. And yes, I did get this shirt from Target. <laughs> I work at Target, so I get a lot of shirts from Target. Um. But I am a big ACDC yes, the, fan, though. So it's it, it ACDC. Um, I did. I do think. Oh the yeah, ACDC. Which favorite I, song? I do think. Um, not back in black. That does not motherfucker. count. Motherfucker. Doesn't count. <laughs> um, I do think the work sharp is better than the Lansky. Oh look, Bob, Bob Kansas is in here, and he's probably like, "What the fuck is going on, Bob?" Hey, Bob. Highway to help. Um, oh, good one. Oh, did someone need? Feed that to no, you? No, no. Yeah, where'd you get that from? From my head. From last live when I talked about Highway to Hell? No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Did you? I don't Remember, know I kept singing it? You sure? Yes. And I'll, Thunder, I'll do that the and the Thunder one. Um, anyways, but yes, I think that the Workshop is a little bit better system than the Lansky. The Lansky's a little more janky. You, If you get the Lansky, you definitely want to get the base, the metal base. 
it's like 12 more dollars but the Lansky system is a little bit more rinkety like if rinkety? That, yeah like it rattles more it's shaky more where's my phone the work sharp is a more solid system you don't have as many stones and you don't have as many accessories that you can buy. So if you're looking for more stones and more accessories, then the Lansk is going to be more up your alley. But if you're just looking for a sharp knife that's easy to sharpen, get the job done, easy to set up, um, easy to store, all those things, easy to put together, work sharp. It's like three parts, super easy to slap together. You can be right to working very fast. The clamp works better. So many parts work better on the work sharp than on the landscape. But the one downside is is they do not have accessories yet. They're supposed to have accessories. I heard after February, I don't know. Um, that's I think that's their goal. And there also is a guy, if you look it up, I forget the name of his channel now. I'm an asshole for even bringing it up now. That shows how to uh, take the, the ceramic stone and turn it into higher grits with a little bit of glue and some uh, some sandpaper. I think it's sandpaper he uses, or maybe he uses uh, diamond film. I think that's what he uses. He uses, whatever. Check him out. I didn't even say his name, but uh, somebody in the comments might remember who I'm talking about. I am very consistent with my Lansky. Oh, I am too with my Lansky. I'm just saying that... Uh, I'm not saying either one are bad. I'm just saying for the money, for the $50, right? For $50, you get the entire system with that. With the, the other Lansky system, you, you don't get the base. So now you have to spend an extra $12. I forget what the, the what is it called? Um, the premium model or something for Lansky? I forget what, that, what it's called. Something like that. It's more expensive. But for the money, you, it's better to... The work sharp system is a little bit easier to use and better for a beginner. Um, somebody, Colt, remind me because he said sing us a little Hell's Bells. Remember when I was telling you about how I drove like really super far to get that limited edition ACDC wine mm -hmm. that they manufactured in Australia? And I couldn't remember what the editions were. It was, um, it was Hell's Bells. It was Hell's Bells. Highway to Hell, Thunderstruck, and Back in Black, and that was the full set, I think. Nice. It was really cool, though. It was really cool. Do you remember uh, what year it was? The Hell's Bells! Um, what year the wine came out? Yeah. Like, 2013 or 14? I don't know. I'll look it up. Hmm. It was um, really uh, interesting. Yes, the Deluxe Diamond. So if you get the Deluxe Diamond package, which is what I recommend every day of the week. I also recommend their Sapphire Stone and their Ceramic Stone. The yellow and the blue. The Lansky system's great. I have a Lansky system. I even use their stones freehand. I love their stones. Um, even their aluminum oxide stones are great quality. Their diamond stones are great quality. They're, they're great systems. I'm just speaking on a, a an easier system to use for somebody who doesn't have one. Yeah. Something that where they can get something and get a good edge. You can do the same thing with the Lansky if you have a little bit more money. But for fifty dollars, the system you get from Lansky doesn't compare to the work sharp. It was you shook me all night long. It wasn't Thunderstruck. Uh, that was with the other one. But it was it, Highway to Hell, Hell's Bells. I mean, show them. Hell's Bells was the one that I got. They have like pictures. Um, you don't want to show them? Well, I'm trying to see. I think they were made in New Zealand. Well, because you know how showing pictures goes on this, from my phone. I mean, I guess you can kind of see that. But it was really, it was really cool. And But I, I got the Hell's Bells and the, I think it was the Highway to Hell. I remember the Hell's Bells because it was Sauvignon, Sauvignon Blanc. And it was not that good. Um, I like it. <laughs> I I'm drank looking it. into attachments for my <laughs> KME I got for Christmas. They have a lot of attachments, so they even have attachments for recurves, and they they have a, a rod for the recurves that has a film, and you put a film around it. Um, and the 
but the T Sprof KO3 is the best guided system in the world. I've seen a little bit about that. Um, somebody was asking me to try to get that Rooks or Ruix, whatever system that is. Um, I think I think it's like sixty bucks, and it's a guided system that clamps to a bench. I might get that to help other people out because I feel like so somebody who has the money to buy a Wicked Edge or a KME is is going to they're they're going to be able to invest in all those parts and you know more, I guess find out more information and stuff. Somebody who's they can only spend a hundred dollars or less, they're looking for the best system they can get. When you're spending KME and Wicked Edge money, then you're gonna get a great system. Yes, there's obviously way extra parts. <sighs> I can't watch that. Um yeah, it's sickening to me. Um, not not that they're doing that, but that they're they're using it for propaganda. Well, you haven't read it yet. You no, know. but I already I, I watched some of it, and they you, you can't. I don't blame them one I bit. I did I say I wasn't going to talk about it? I yeah, said I can't you see. Said I can't. You can't talk about it. Oh, I thought I said I can't look at that. Um. Anyways, I'll talk about. It. I don't give a shit. Uh, Michael. Yes, Michael, the WorkSharp is more user-friendly. Um, but, but anyways, when you have the money to buy the KME and extra parts for it, right, or the work, the Wicked Edge, you, you, you're investing in a system that is going to get you about the best professional type of edge if you're good at using <laughs> it. Sorry. Now... When you're looking at spending under a hundred dollars, there's a lot of systems that are going to be difficult to use, and they, you know, there might be parts you don't need to get. There might be parts you need to get. There's, you know, so I feel like those are the types of systems that need to be tested for the community. Bye, mom. I'll talk to you later. Love you. Bye. Um, only one complaint is it has some play and it doesn't have a lot of accessories. Yeah, that, that's basically, and if you're just trying to get a sharp edge, the blade doesn't matter. You will get a, a, a ridiculously sharp edge off of it. If you're looking for perfection in your edge, then you, you're going to want to spend maybe a little bit more money or possibly, after you get it, uh, modify it a little bit. Figure out how to get the play out of the, the parts a little bit by making wedges or holding it a certain way. And using a certain amount of pressure and just there's ways to, to figure it out. Like I got a, a great mirror edge off of it, but it took a long time and it took some, you know, some real light duty strokes, I guess you could say. Um, the TS Prof KO3 is the only way to go. I'd have to look more into it. I know I've seen it, um, but I'd have to look more into it to say it's the best or the only way to go. How much is it? Only way to go. Um, I think it's pretty expensive, though. Uh, Jared, do you have any experience with the Dia Sharp Stones? Yes. Um, yes, I do. Um, I uh, I like them. I think they're they're a good bang for your buck. I don't like the. I mean, it's not that I don't like the DMT ones. I think the DMTs are very expensive, and I feel like I can get just as good as stones from the, the ones that I get that I recommend in a lot of my videos. What video? I have a super off the wall question yep. to ask. Um, if you were in real danger, real, 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 real danger, right? Like to the point where you had to like stay barricaded inside of a building, like that type of danger. Would you be tweeting things? No. No, if you're in that much danger, you'd be maybe tweeting to to get somebody to save you. Have, have you? No, not for that reason. But haven't you noticed that just in general, and maybe it's be, maybe it's because social media is that normalized uh, in our right, society. Right, it right, could right. be some of that. But I just I feel like, and what I'm referencing doesn't even matter because now I'm just thinking about something just in general, not any specific situation, but just You're thinking general. of a specific situation. No, that doesn't, that, what <laughs> made me think of this doesn't matter okay, is my okay. point. What matters is that it's, I just, I feel like if I was in the middle of a 
potential situation, a dangerous situation, whether that be, like, an intruder or, like, okay, like, let's say I was at work, right? And they were like, we gotta lock this bitch down, like, something's going on outside. Actually, I had that happen at work. Not once did I think about stopping and tweeting, but people do shit like that all the time. Yeah, I don't and think they're And it either is because they're not in real danger right, or not. because they're dumb. They're, they're both. Probably not in real danger and they're dumb. Because when that happened to me at work, I got the fuck out of there. Right. You Well, that's what you do. You start. I didn't wait to hear when your anything life is from anyone. Actually, you know, I closed my shit down. Right. I said, fuck the rest of this store. My part's going home. My store is going home. When your life is actually on the line... The only thing you're thinking about is um, is the the way to live, right? So like the way to it's like self preservation. So you, your mind shuts down on anything aside from right. self preservation. Why would you be worried about Twitter posts unless it had some other angle? And that angle that it was going to get you was more important than the real risk you were facing. It's kind of like you, you ever seen those um. Those uh, haunted houses or those movies where they're in the room and the walls coming at them with spikes. Yeah. Right? If I threw you in that room right now. Would you be like, fucking, look at this fucked up right. shit Jigsaw put us in. Oh, <laughs> Selfie, you know, you wouldn't do that. Your mind would, couldn't even go there. Your mind couldn't go anywhere but looking for exits. It's looking crazy. for ways to jam the machine. So, yeah. So weird. Um, I agree with Kara. If I was legitimately in fear of my life. I'd like to think I would only be worried about my most three first and foremost. Yes, definitely, hundred percent. Yeah, it's just a thought I had. Stupid. I don't There's think. Some post of some I don't girl think being locked down in a building and tweeting about it and like saying she about the chaos and the fear. And I'm like, yeah, she wasn't in danger. in such chaos and fear. What the she fuck are you doing danger. on Twitter? Whatever. Right, she wasn't. Whatever. In and I'm not, I'm not saying that based on like that. Oh, what I would do versus what they would do. I'm saying what anybody would fucking do. You're lying if you try to say that like. Well, oh, well I never say shoot. that shit though because I hate on the other end of the spectrum. Like, don't you hate when you're watching like a murder show and they're like, he was absolutely guilty because nobody would not cry at their mother mother's funeral and you're like, you don't actually know that. No, yeah, I would so say that. So I don't I say, say in a generalized, no. like, you know what someone would do because you don't, but you know what somebody would not do sometimes. Yeah, I, I you know think You know what doesn't make sense. Like, there are some things that you physically cannot do. I think there's a lot of Like I said, of you either aren't in danger or you're dumb. Right. It's one of the two. doesn't right. mean that you wouldn't act that way. It's why would you act that way? I don't think way. you would if you were actually in danger. That's what I'm saying. So like you said, you're either not in danger or you're dumb. Now, you I'm might saying be in danger, you're, but you're just more worried about Twitter for If some you're reason. in real danger, if your life is at risk and you are in real danger, you're not, you're nothing, trust me, nothing's going across your head. It's like kind of like... You click into survival, like, okay, fear, flight, fight, the flight, people, or fear. The people that freeze. are going in a crashing plane, they yeah. usually make the call to their loved one. Because they know they're going to die. Yeah, if they know they're going to die, right. then they might do something there's like no that way, because they no know. There's no way out, right. There's no way out. And, or they don't know if they're going to die, right? But they usually don't go on Twitter and start tweeting shit. It's usually like a call to a loved one, something right. like that. Unless they're that stupid. Like, I think, I think at some point it's propaganda. Yeah, me either seems logical. I'm not on Twitter. I don't have a I'm Facebook. I don't have a Twitter. I don't use the personal Instagram I have. The only thing I use is this YouTube right here. And my PlayStation, if you count that, is social media because you can have friends on there. Other than that, I literally don't give a fuck. Don't have Snapchat, don't have... I don't have none of that shit. I think some of them I have accounts on from forever ago, but I haven't... Even when I have those accounts, I didn't use them. I just don't find it fun. Uh, I haven't used the Sharple diamond system. Good system Sharple? for the price. Double-sided stones, 325 and 1200 grit comes with the stone... Polar box. Okay, so I don't personally like double-sided stones. Why? You have some. Are you a hypocrite? Where? Stones with Name two one. sides? No. Don't have What you do? No. Where no. it's like one on one side and one on the other, and it's like two colors? You had one that was oh, gray th and orange. Oh, that's not, that's, that's different. That's the need stones, not diamond stones. So let me finish. Let me finish. Yeah, so, finish. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> so like, it's the same thing kind of like with the work sharp, right? You, you're going to have a chance of contamination because the stones are all together on one thing mm. so the 300 grit is going to have a chance of getting one of those diamonds on say your ceramic stone or your 600 so it's not going to matter for your low grits your low grits aren't going to be that big of a deal but once you start moving up like say the 1200 grit or and higher 
it's going to matter, like, especially if you start going to polish. What's worse than, say, if you went to polish and you start stropping and you have a 300 grit diamond sitting on your, your strop and now you have a 300 grit scratch in the middle of your mirror finish. Now you're either going to have to sit there and work extra hard on your finishing stone or drop it all the way back down and restart if you're that crazy. You so know. is that different from a tryway thing? That's okay? Mm -hmm. So a triway thing would be the same thing, but that goes to only so such a high grit. So it's not like diamonds. Diamonds are. So you're only talking about double sided or multi sided if it's diamond. That's yes, the only time yes, it matters. And you don't have one of those. No, no, it says the work sharp. Well, the veneer stones, but those are different because wow. I'm constantly cleaning the surface. So I. So you can have them. You just have to take care of them a certain way. Well, yeah, I, you, you, when I first start with them, I'm right away rinsing them. The first thing I do is so I put... you do have some. That's not just a diamond plate. That's a Veneev diamond infused stone. So it has extra stuff in it besides just diamonds. But the I first thing I do you. is I put lubrication on there and I constantly clean them off. But, but yeah, you could have contamination with those too if... No, not really because they don't... Okay, this is the reason why you don't. They don't have okay. loose diamonds. So, like, a diamond plate has, the diamonds are just on the surface. Mm -hmm. So, you knock them off. Those other ones are infused in the stone. It's not the same. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm sure a diamond here I think or there. You got caught. No, I didn't. I think you got caught. No. Yeah. Anyways, um, and when you, it when you, matter. when you <laughs> clean it, you. like, when you, um, what's it called, um. Yeah, I have, a, it. I have a Jared Neves knife sharpener, and it does work great. It's my favorite sharpening system. I like it a lot because it just does it whenever you tell it to, and it doesn't really, um, like, take too long. Woo! Thanks, Mark! Sorry, I can't really part... Really... Sorry, I can't really participate. Super busy trying to organize my house, but have you guys playing in the background while I work? Well, that is well, good thanks, to know. Mark. Glad you're here. We appreciate you playing us in, in the background. What? Jared watches anime? Question mark. What? I don't know. Do you? Have you ever seen me watch anime? Well, I don't know. I feel like you'd do it in private if you did. <laughs> <laughs> no, I could never. I couldn't you tell, tell you. Me. I couldn't tell okay. you anything about anime. I, won't get I, no, I have nothing against anime. I won't get jealous of your cartoons. I promise. I have They're nothing. They're just drawings. I have nothing against anime. I know you don't. I just. I don't. I couldn't I'm tell you anything about them. I'm talking about the crazy anime though. What's the crazy anime? The kind you watch. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I couldn't tell you anything about anime. I'm sorry. Um. Oh, good, Jared. Don't start oh, watching it. <laughs> you mean stop watching anime? <laughs> um. I I honestly I couldn't tell you one anime show, not one. Yes, you could. That what? one you watch all the I'm time. I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> I keep thinking you're being serious. If you don't care, why are you so ashamed? I don't, I don't know. understand. I, don't know. I really don't get it. I don't know. It's because you're busting me out. Sorry. You're right. That's not right. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dragon Ball Z. That's the one. Okay, I've heard of that one. I've heard you of that one. You would love that one. I love, that's a good love one. that one. Yeah? Yeah, I used to watch it when I was younger, I think. Did you? I don't think I've I ever think watched so. it. I think I've like seen an episode. Adam used to like them. But I, I didn't Yeah. I couldn't tell you one character. Jared watches Naruto while Wow, he's you sharpened. pronounce that like someone who watches it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell it's you. It's not that hard to pronounce. I didn't know how to say that, and then you said, I'm like, you're shit, so that's exactly how you say it. So I, I literally was going to say Naruto, and you're like, no. Oh, you're so Naruto. full of shit. <laughs> you're like, Naruto. You are so into. Uh, pronunciation. I know. That's why it blew my mind that you know how to say it, and I didn't. I'll take an unpopular opinion. DBZ is awful. DB. Oh, Dragon Ball Z. Uh, yeah. Oh, you knew that, didn't you? Oh, you did. <laughs> you <laughs> should have even brought that up. I was like, what the fuck is Dude, DBZ? I thought it was a type of steel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm late. Wait. I'm late as fuck, but gains, gains before, before blades. blades. True yeah, that. I, hey, true that. True Why don't that. you tell that to Jared? Yeah. Jared, uh... Jared slouched. turned blades into his gains, and so therefore he tries to fucking make it a whole thing that he can never stop doing. Ain't that right? No, but, uh, I did start working out before, and then I actually, um, I stopped early. I'm a bitch today. Everybody can call me a, a bitch. Oh, I took that... 
way different. No, he's talking about gains. Like, yeah, like in the gym. I took yeah. it as differently. I know you did. Like earning. I felt that. Yeah, because I've heard it used that way. Am I wrong? You're wrong. Can it be used that way? I guess it is a gym thing, isn't it? 14C28N. Shane says he's loving it lately. I always love me some 14C28N. It was made for pocket knives. So that's the one beauty of it is that it was made for pocket knives to have good edge retention, sharpen easily, and take a really good edge. It takes a keen edge. I mean, it's crazy how yeah. sharp you can get 14C28N. I took it as a on. monetary thing. It's a great, great seal. And it's very stain resistant. I don't know why Bird and Frankie. So they have um the the Kershaw um Wait, what? What's that one Kershaw? The um we never had it. Um, skyline? The Skyline. How did I know? I don't know. Do you want to know something? I wasn't listening. I know, listening. we have this thing. No, no, I was I didn't even listen to what you said up to that point because I was reading something. Yeah. And I know, but you know. You know. And literally, the only thing I heard out of your mouth was, what's that one Kershaw? We don't have it. We don't have a lot of Kershaws. I know. I know. And I know the names but of I a lot of know. Kershaws. So, I saw it in your eyes. I, I know. saw a little the twinkle, city skyline right? appear. <laughs> the twinkle? And I was like, geez. Skyline. Skyline. So, mm -hmm. they had the skyline, and it rusted on them. <laughs> and they constantly talk about 14C as the steel that rusts or something. But that's also the steel that they left all shitty and nasty and left in like a, a junk drawer or something or left in a, no, a tackle box or some shit. Something like that. I don't know exactly where they left it, but they left it somewhere very corrosive. And now they think like that it's like a rusty steel or something. It's like almost any steel, if you get all nasty and then throw at the bottom of a metal box, it's going to rust. Well, yeah, I think there's a certain... This is my thing with certain tests and knives and steels and bullshit is that some people want to do some shit like that and be like, see, it's shit. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, okay, but I think that there should be a, a common understanding when testing a steel or doing a long-term review on a steel or having some level of understanding about a steel is that it needs to be understood that there's a certain level of care that has to go into that process. Yeah. If you just don't, that that's so dumb. That's like saying, you know what I mean? That's like saying, oh, um, you know, a Porsche is a better car than a Honda, but yeah, if you crash your Porsche off a bridge, it's not going to be. Yeah, right, you know right, what right. I mean? Like, it doesn't and matter. Sasha if you don't 23 take care said, of it. I know, it, it's bead blasted. It's bead blasted, so it'll rust easier. Yeah, because you've already um, those of you that, heard it a little bit in a sense. Well, those of you that don't know, the easiest finish to rust is a bead blasted finish. Hasn't it like infiltrated the steel? Well, it's it's sense? because it's made it, it more porous, vulnerable? more porous, basically. Vulnerable. Yeah, more vulnerable. So it's more vulnerable for for um, water or whatever to basically stick into the pores. That's why you definitely. I you would have, think stone washing wouldn't help protect D two then. Right? Well, no, usually stone washing is a little bit more. It's it's different. But so it's not going to help it though. Well, it's it not might not hurt it, Usually, but it's not going to help it. Uh, it's not that bad. I don't think stone no, I mean, washing is that bad. You're not listening to my words. So I'm Sorry. saying it's not going to help it. Well, nothing is going to help it. Right. Somebody asked, "Is could stone washing help protect you too?" No. I'm saying it's, it may no. not hurt it it's badly, but it's it definitely not going to no. help it. It's not going to improve it. No, it's not going to improve it. What's going to improve it is you to take care of it. Is you to keep it oiled and keep <laughs> it dry and keep it out of corrosive materials. But Kubi, Kubi uses lots of bead blast, and I don't like that. <clears throat> I even found rust on an S35 VN knife because it had that bead blast. And um, nothing against Kubi, it's just they that's the way they were doing their finishes for a long time, is they were doing those bead blasts. And I try to stay away from those bead blasts, I do. I try to stay either satin or stone wash is what I try to do, um, for the most part. I think a good satin is really good, and then a stone washing is really good um, for helping keep away corrosion. Um, Shane told Stasa he needs some anna work. Like, seriously, has anyone had D2 rust on them? Um, I've seen rust... Okay, so, I don't. we don't have a problem with corrosion where we're at. So, we are going to be... 
a little less likely than some areas. Now, like a desert is going to be even less likely than us. So depending on where you live, the, the closer you are to salt water, then yes, I guarantee people that live by salt water have probably had rust issues with D2. I've seen D2 show rust signs. So like maybe I use them and then I want to putting them away, which I rarely do. Normally I always, like if I cut something, especially something that I know, like something, some type of food product or basically anything, I wipe and dry off my knife every time. Every time. Now, if I've used it all day on something corrosive, when I get it home, I'll not only clean it, I'll oil it. But I also try at least once every couple months to go through all my knives and re-oil them all. This guy wants to sell you a knife. <laughs> that guy probably always wants to sell me a knife. <laughs> Is it one of those guys? No, go, go into this thing. I want to, no. Into here. If he's one of those damn guys. No, he doesn't seem like one of those guys. Possibly one of those guys. I don't know. No, no, he seems I legit. You can accept him. I'll okay. talk to him. Maybe he wants to sell me a good knife. I don't trust this. Um, Look okay, at that. I'll get Do you trust that fucking face? That face? No, I don't trust that face. It's a cat. It's a cat. It's a cat. It's a cat I like cats, sauce, though. Knives. Um. Driver, pretty All much right. if you leave any for... knife in the bottom of a toolbox in a garage, it's probably going to rust. Yes, because especially in a garage, because a garage, you know, keeps moisture. Um, K390, K390 is a steel that patinas. I don't see your message, Shane. I don't know what, I'm, what your name is on Instagram. I'm going to keep this as dry and clean as possible for as long as possible. If it starts pat showing patina, I'm not going to fight it, but I'm not going to force it. So, it's oh, most likely okay. eventually okay. going to start showing, um, like a shadow at first. It'll start looking like a golden, uh, light gray shadow at first. And I'm gonna try to keep it as long as I can without patina. But eventually it's gonna patina. Shit, sorry guys, had to go feed my daughter. I'm back. What are you thinking, Alex? Come on, man. <laughs> I've seen D2 rust, never personally, and I live by the shoreline. But I have seen it happen in general. Good care is all it takes. Yeah, right. definitely. If you take care of it, like, and some steels are gonna take better care than others. Like, obviously, I keep hearing my name when you're saying that. Care? When you're saying care of it. I keep hearing care, care of it. Care of it. it. Okay. Care of it. Care of it. I don't know. You how about carrot? You... <laughs> no. But you know how, like, when people, like, you hear your name out of something? Well, maybe it's more me because, like, my name isn't really that common. So if I hear something that sounds like that, my brain is like, what? Because I'm not used to hearing my name. Ever. Yeah, you don't even say my name ever, so it's weird, right? If I hear it, I agree, Alex. That's what I do. I I oil my knife like once a month, the longest once every two months. And I go through all my knives, so and I don't have to go through them all at once. It's just like if I take a knife out that I haven't carried in a while, I'll make sure I clean it and oil it, and then like if I have a knife pack that I haven't. Uh, taking the knives out of in a while when I go and check on it I'll make sure I clean dry and oil them and I also I don't zip that bag up without having some of those um those little what are those packets called those little uh, I don't know what they're called but they uh the do not eat string. packets yeah the don't eat packets do not eat the packets so make sure you guys don't eat the packets put them with your knives so before you eat the packet or don't eat the packet just put them with your knives um, do we have any other Long Islanders in the live tonight? I don't think Long Island Knife Guy's in the house, but... Silica Packets! Thank you, Alex. Silica Packets. No, do not eat. I like that better. <laughs> um, yeah, I just heard last week that Stonewash would help protect E2. I think it would help protect it over Bead Blast. I don't think it's gonna... I don't personally know. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it would protect it at all. I think versus, like, say if you were gonna say Satin... Or, uh, or stone washed. I think depending on the type of stone washed, because like some stone washing, it's etched first and then stone washed. In that case, I would say it's gonna rust faster. If it's just a media stone wash and it's like got that polish over the top of it. Alex getting hyped. He's like, why stone wash? Just oil the damn thing. <laughs> I agree. 
I agree. But there are some... If oiling takes about half a second, especially if you have, like, a needle tip. It's not like you have to take it apart every single time you oil your knife or anything like that. Yeah, no, yeah, just and oil... And, I mean, once... especially if we're just talking about taking care of the steel and not, like, getting into the pivot and everything. And like if you, you cut fruit or vegetables or anything like that or meat, dry it off. Rinse it off and dry it off. Rinse it really good and dry it really good. And don't be afraid to rinse it with soap and water. But, like, Kaiser Stone Wash... That is really good for keeping away corrosion. Is Bec it? Yeah, because if you look at it, it's got a, a really um, even stone wash, and then it's like got a polish over the top of it. Almost. I don't know though. I don't feel like we've really tested that out in a controlled environment what? using the scientific method in a way that could tell us if that's really fucking true what? enough for us to sit there and say, yeah, I think Kaiser's stone wash could help a little bit. No, I'm saying like that type of stone is what I was talking about. I was I'm talking just saying, about. I don't know if we are sitting on enough info to say that out loud. I would. I would not. I would. I put money on it. What method? Did you, you hear what I said? To did, determine did you, that. Did you hear what I said? Yeah, I want to see I your said, study notes. Okay, your so published fucking study. I acid etched a knife and stone yes. washed it, and it definitely started rusting. Okay. Okay. And okay. Versus that? versus just a media blast stone wash that has like a polish finish over it. It's not going to have the pores in the steel to trap water or you know liquid or whatever. Trap that anything. might be your hypothesis, the first step of the scientific method. That's facts, sweetheart. That's your That's hypothesis. Facts. You need to finish the rest of the, the scientific method. just went method. backwards. Don't fucking <laughs> flip that hat right off your head. <laughs> Oiling is very easy. Yeah, let's go with that. I use three in one. So any of you guys that don't have knife oil for three to five dollars, uh, three in one, it cleans. Stop it has a rust proof. It has a rust cleaner and a rust prevention in it all at once, and it'll last you probably three years. Why would just you even ever bottle. oil everything if you know so well that stone washing would help? Well, that doesn't mean you don't oil it still. Yeah, but you know for a fact. I never said Why that. Why are not every single... That's not what oh, I said. Oh, you did. No, I said oh, that did. stone wash over an acid stone wash. Did you put money on it? How yeah. much money would you put on it? You must not listen to me how, again. I just want to know the dollar amount. I don't know. How, how much, much money? How much you want to bet? How much money would you put on it? I guarantee you're still not listening to me. I said that stone wash over... Right, I an get that. acid etched I stone wash. So I would put any amount of money. Well, yeah, over that. That's, that's, that's what I would, said, though. You changed it to that. No, that's what I said originally. Oh, <laughs> that's what I said. That's what I said. You can rewind it. I don't know about you. You can rewind it. Hey, Jack uh, in the box. How's it going? One. How's it going? Okay. I'm guessing you're gonna use me. Y yes, of course. How's it going? I'm gonna go back. Help me. Grab my arm. Grab my arm. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All them gains. <laughs> Ow, you pinched me. Okay. It's the commitment. It's, it's the a commitment. commitment. Yeah. I told you you were going to fuck something up. You fucked my leg up <laughs> with your pinch. Carol, you didn't lean the correct direction. Uh, you know, there's this armrest in the middle which really threw off my equilibrium. Yeah, we got some armrests. Got to start over. <laughs> He always does that. He always <laughs> says Thank you, some Jack shit. in the Box. Thank you very much. We really appreciate all and any you know, donations. I always wonder if massively better people better who us. I don't see donate um, ever, like, or not ever. Why but, would you say that? No, let, let me finish my sentence. Yeah, I, I you always, better finish your yeah, sentence. Let me finish it. I always wonder when a new person donates if they send a sticker if they know that I'm about to act it out because those stickers are just there, you know? Oh. So I feel like sometimes people will send one and be like, what the fuck was that? What the hell did she just do? Yeah, yeah what was yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> I've had that reaction before of like, what just happened? Okay, I left my feldspar, the feldspar is right here, the CGRB feldspar, on the, the bathroom sink overnight and it had two rust spots the next Saturday. Yes, if you... If you let it sit in any type of environment that has moisture or um, anything like that, it's going to... Oh, my to... God. <laughs> you want to try it the other direction now? Okay, I got this. We're going to do this nice and smooth. Are you ready? Right here. I'm coming in this way. Don't let that damn I'm going thing elbow on the arm. All right, go ahead. I'm going to fall, so you better go. catch me. One swift motion. You're not doing it good. Your chair's not doing you good. How's it going? 
<laughs> you look ridiculous. <laughs> Man, I thank hit, you, thank I, you, I, I Alex. We appreciate that. Just, oh, okay. um, I'm doing good. Work sucked today. Who just doesn't donate? Home. Name them all. <laughs> <laughs> Sends a sticker with that was fireworks. Worth 10 Do you tend to light up fireworks in the studio? There's only one way to find oh out. Oh my god! Breeze. I wonder <laughs> what I could do for fireworks. Light a candle. No, I need to blow something up though. No, I do know one thing you could do, but I don't want to say it. Some like there's it. gotta be something. There's something. What's that thing? There's something. Can't you do something with like? There's something. Like um a lighter. Or, no. What? Am, there's well, something you can do in your hand. In your hand. Yeah. You like, mean like fill it with gas and go? Oh, that's what I'm. That's what I'm thinking. With lighter fluid, oh. and then you go like that. Yeah, I was. That'll thinking, be my version of fireworks. I was thinking of the spark stick. But you wouldn't want to do that, huh? Oh, you mean your your thing? Yeah. Yeah, trap the gas in your hand from a lighter, and then I can light it on fire. Boom. That'll be my firework. Yeah, little poppers. Why are you in front of me? I don't like that. What? All right, there we Why go. There we go. What? What? You were seeing comments before me. Yeah, because I'm first. Well, just because your computer's right there doesn't mean that the messages come in left no, to right. No, they're to me, then <laughs> They come to in you. left to right. They come to me first, then they come to you. That's so how you, they work. So you can observe them and make sure that they're appropriate for me? Oh, don't do that, Kara. <laughs> that would be crazy way to end a live earlier. Light farts on. <laughs> <laughs> I do it in my hand, but then the fucking fire happens back here. <laughs> Wait, I have shingles and the such major balls. Super painful. I bet that sucks, man. Ooh, that sucks. Um, um, yes, Lindy Lou does do the nice meow that she does. They do anal work for other people. So does Stasa at times. I don't know if he's taking any work right now. But uh, those are the two people that I highly recommend. Um, but yes, definitely uh, get a hold of her or Richie Mods. I don't want to say one without the other because I know... Don't they like compete against each yeah, other? Yeah, they compete That's a little so bit. So... Yeah, uh, and yeah, here's some of Lindy Lou's uh, anal work right here. Um, I have some uh, of Stasa's, but it's not sitting right here. Otherwise, I would show that. I feel like an asshole now. But uh, here's some of uh, Lindy. Well, it's not gonna I, show up good on camera. The, York? the Yorkie. The Yorkie's over Which, there. Which the Yorkie was dope, but wasn't that one of Stasa's like first ish ones? Well, no, it was just he did it a while ago. But that's a hell of a good job. Is just as good as quality as well, this Well, you know one. how some people... Oh, yeah, this is so good. I love the Yorkie because it has it has such a nice white, light blue part at the at the tip. At the butt, I mean. Yeah, yeah, I it love does. that part. It like gets, the ice blue. Here, wipe it first. And then here, I'll show this one again. This one's really good. You're, like, so close. I'm trying... I, I can't nothing. tell yet, though. I can't... I know, but... I'm trying to... You should aim it up at... Just keep it back. It'd be better to have it a little further away than clear and clear. There we go. There we go. Bang. And then the clip. Bang. He said, that's where I'm sending people because I'm trying to get my shop finished up. So he's sending people. To Lindy Lou. But Alpha. when his shop is finished, I'm still going to show it. Yeah, don't be forgetting Which about him. I don't think. He did. Do the other side so you can get the whole thing. Yeah, I know. But that side had my off. favorite color on it. It's ha. Damn, I have to send some out. Ronan! Thanks, Yay! bud! What's up, Ronan? I feel like I haven't seen you in a while. Thanks, Ronan. We appreciate that, bud. Happy New Year. Every huh? time I see Ronan's picture, it looks like a Spider-Man rabbit, but I don't think that's what it is. But I... it looks like a bunny dressed like Spider-Man from back no, here. No, it's that... I, well, okay, this is what I interpret it as. What's that... Oh, um... it's Pikachu? Is that a red what? devil Pikachu? It looks like a Pikachu I tail. thought it was that one dude, like a, a little... Pikachu pool. Oh, yeah. Pool. What's What the heck's it called, that movie? Um, or that Deadpool? Deadpool. It's a Deadpool, like a... A, a Deadpool a Pikachu. A Pikachu, yeah. A Pikachu Deadpool. What That's is what Deadpool? I always thought it was, was Deadpool. It's a, um, it's a movie. It's, it's like, a movie? Yeah. Why do I feel like it's not it's a movie? It's got that one... I can't remember the dude's name, but um, look it up. Well, you, you watched a little bit of it with me. I've seen it. It's like a... a not like what's like, what would you call like Batman and Superman and stuff? What would you call them? Like superheroes, kind. It's kind of like a superhero movie, but he's not a superhero. He's more of like an asshole, kinda. He's funny as hell. It's hilarious. It's a good movie. Hey, cult! Thanks, bud. Is that a lemon? No, 
Yes. It's a lemon it's a head. Lemon. I wish I had some lemon Don't heads. back up too far. I am going to stand up, and I'm going to do my little jig, and then I'm going to sit right there. Yeah, he's an anti-hero. <laughs> <laughs> He's not, he's not kind of an asshole. He's an asshole. Yeah, he's hilarious, though. I thought that was... The first time I seen Deadpool, I laughed hysterically. I thought it was so funny because I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting kind of like your artificial superhero type of movie. I was expecting something like Spider-Man, I guess. And then, oh my God, it was so funny when I watched it. Um, Cobra Kai, asshole style. Awesome work from you both. Do you know what's the best way to contact her? Lindy Lou, I would contact her on Instagram. Go on Instagram, Lindy, or I think it's just Lindy Lou. Um, but it might be the nice meow now. I don't know. Um, find out real quick. Hold on, I'm sorry, this is work. I, I Give me a second, it. I'll let you know. So, on Instagram, wrong thing. Where is Instagram on here? Why can't I find it? Where's it at on here? Help me out. Oh, it's over there. It's not going to stay sideways. It's fine. I'm just looking this way. Okay, so her thing is... I know I talked to her just not that long ago. It's got to be right here. It's just Lindy Lou, L-Y-N-D-Y-L-O-U, on Instagram. If you do not have an Instagram, then uh, you might have to, um, you can always give leave her a message on her YouTube channel if you do not have Instagram, and ask her her email. She might even have her email in her YouTube channel. Um, that didn't read right. I don't know what we're talking about. Old school syndrome. Lindy Lou or commenter on YouTube? Yes, com commenter on Knife's Meow on her YouTube channel. And you, she might even have in the description her, you, her, in, her email. Sorry, I couldn't spit that out. Damn it. Um, hmm. Hot damn. Okay, so you remember how I told you, like... I don't know, like a week or two ago that I took some time off for my birthday, which I've never done before. And I was like, I have this vacation time and I just want to use some of it. Remember yes. I told you that? Yes. I got a message from one of my girls that works for me and she goes, hey, I, I don't know if I'll see you tomorrow, but I just want to let you know I requested some time off tonight and I just want to make sure it won't be an issue. I know I told you my availability wouldn't change, but I wanted to take some time off to, up to celebrate my upcoming birthday. I asked for the 29th and 30th, 30th off. I hope this isn't an issue. And now I feel said. so bad. Why? Because I requested that off a couple of weeks ago. So tell her. I did, but I feel bad. But at the same time. Oh, this is this is why I'm the no, boss. No, I think that I can make it to where we both can have it off. But like my yeah, I mean I feel bad. You know. So listen, all the days I wanted off when I was in your shoes, I didn't get off. That is true. <laughs> no, so. the reason why I feel bad is because she straight up was like, if it's an issue, I will cancel the request. And she's so... Cancel the request. And, no, she's... I think I can make it What work. do you think It just was funny, right? Like the same exact day. You know what I mean? Maybe um, you can stop up at her birthday party, Kara. <laughs> uh, that's the thing that Rushy's sucks, though, busy. is because... You ha seem to have a lack of understanding that if that was the case, I would go into work before I would make... No, I do understand You know that. what I mean? Because no, I do I'm not going to walk into work and talk go to my boss and be like, hey, listen, you know, uh, some of the it's going to be really fucking difficult to make labor happen this week because both of us need our birthday off. No, I'm going to come in. You no, know what I, I mean? Don't. I, I don't. Really but I'll be taking that. the days right after off. I'm working at Tesla. I don't even know what a day off is. Um, I haven't seen her in a while either. I think something did happen that's kept her busy, but I could be wrong. Um, are we talking about Lindy Lou? Um, I don't want to give her, uh, private information, but I think she's had, uh, some work, school, and family issues going on the past couple weeks. Mm. I'm not trying to speak for her or anything, so. Um... Yes, I've played Hitman. Our birthdays are both this month. Yeah, mine's on the 29th. Coming up! His is on the 16th. Um, and... Why are you telling people my damn birthday? Did, I didn't say the year. I didn't tell him it was 1973. <laughs> 
Um, okay, so... <clears throat> um, and I also didn't tell him that mine was 2007. Um, okay, so, yes, I've played the... <laughs> You're making me look like a penis! I've done that before on here, too. I said uh, that another time, jokingly, and it was... I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Um, anyway, I'm trying to say, Jared's not a cradle robber. I got a few paid days off it's myself. Okay. He's not a cradle robber. He would have only been 18 when I was 8, so it would have been normal. Right? If we had met when you were 18. What? We had met when you were 18. Yeah, I'm eight years older than you. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit, I made you 10 years older than me. Yeah. Oops. But still, I would have been 10. It would have been cool. Right? I would have been eight when you were born, so I would have been 16 when you were Do eight. Do you ever think about when you were eight when you years were old that you would have looked at a newborn baby and been like, that's going to be my wife? <laughs> no. Do you baby. ever think like no, that? No, I don't think like that Do you ever think all. about when you were 18, thinking about a 10-year-old and being like, that's going to be my wife? No, I think... Does that make you feel weird? I think about how lucky I'm... Does that make I'm you look at me no. and go... Ugh. No, I think about the opposite way. Damn, I'm going to be lucky at 40. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's how I look that's at really it. That's really funny. Um... Me and my wife's birthday. I was trying to get days apart. Question. Damn, ours is only a few days apart. Chris too. Hansen's about to a show up. Than that. Yeah, Chris Hansen's about to come in and be like, Jared, <laughs> what's in the bag? <laughs> have a seat. Have a seat first. Have a seat. And you're going to be like, oh, no, I was just saying hi. <laughs> can, I least, to a friend. can I at least eat the pizza first? Oh. Yeah, there was that one guy who sat there and scarfed down the whole thing. He knew he was going to jail. Yeah, fuck yeah, he did. He He's he like, this is my jail. last good meal, man. <laughs> but no, he. Um, I thought it was funny when he. They, they always think he's a cop. Oh, so her the, birthday isn't on the 29th, it's on the 18th. She just can't celebrate it on her birthday. Now I don't feel bad. Okay, sorry, I just had to get that yeah, out Yeah, that's not so bad. Yeah, it's not as um, bad. But, uh, but, yeah, they always think he's a cop, and that's what I think yeah. is funny. So they're always, like, yeah. big-eyed, like... They're like, can I, can I well, get... Well, first they, they think get... he's her dad. Yeah, 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 That's what they think at first. The ones that don't know yeah. the show. Um, well, I didn't know her dad was going to be here, you know, and then he's like, well, I'm not her dad. I'm not her father. You know, and then they think he's, are you the police? Are you the police? And he'll never tell them. Well, why don't you sit down? I want to ask you a few questions first. You know, that's yeah. how he always does. It. He's always got to ask some questions before you leave. I want to ask you a few questions because they're allowed to leave. It's just they're going to get arrested when they leave. Right. Right. So he never makes it seem like they can't leave. And then no, they always no, ask him. They though, can. They're just going to get tackled. Right. But then out. they always ask, are there going to be cops waiting for me out there? And then he's always like, well. You've already made that decision yourself. Yeah. You know, he always says it in a way like that. Well, you've already made that choice. Um, Alex wants I to know. I can't help you. Alex wants to know if I take the birthday thunder. No. I go so hyped for your birthday. Do you remember the one year that I did your birthday for like three days in a row? And I woke you up at like 5 a.m. to do a scavenger hunt for all your presents. And you could not have been less thrilled with it. <laughs> yeah, and no. Then, <laughs> always wanting to do a scavenger and then hunt. I was so excited, though. And then the next day... I gave, like, gave you a cake, and then the day after that, there was something else that I did. I can't remember what the hell it was, but there was some reason why your birthday happened for, like, a couple days in a row. I don't care about, like, my shit. Yeah, I feel all. like I'm the same way. Like, I, I, I do, but I don't, I get like... more excited for your birthday than I do my own. I feel like, uh... I mean, you I feel care like about I'm... your shit now that knives might be involved. Let's be real. You do. What's that? You care about your days now that knives might be involved. Yeah. I don't feel like you did before that. But, okay, so, like, when I was younger, like, um, going out and, like, say, on your birthday, you were definitely going out, getting fucked up, you were having a party, right? No. Like, I've had so many... I never did that. Okay, well, you didn't, I did. So, I I've had so many of those days that now, like, when my birthday comes and passes, like, I don't, I, it's just another day. Yeah, that's how it's kind of always been, except for when I was a kid. Yeah, see, when I was a kid, I was that's the way it was. Up every day. No, anyway, when I was so a, my birthday wasn't really any different. Well, like, when I, mean? I was real little, it might not have been like that. But then when I was younger, that's the way it was. Like birthday was just like kind of like another day. Yeah. Like I got lucky if I got anything. Like but you're seriously, one bowl and spoon. Right, I didn't get shit for my birthday many years in a row as a kid. It was, but I'm talking about like after eighteen. After eighteen, that's when I like you know started you like got excited. Well, because I was making my own birthdays. So it was like, you, you thought know. Jared was in his late 20s? Thank you. Thank you very much. Wow. Um, That's what everyone thinks, though. Like I said, one of my bosses, who's probably close to your age, thought that you were, like, younger than I was, which is fucking weird to me, because I look really young, and you don't look your age, in my opinion, yeah. but you don't look fucking 20. 
I don't think I look 20. No, and that's what he thought. He thought you were like 18, 19, or 20. And I was like, what the fuck? I'll say this. Me you, had, well, you were clean shaven, though, to be fair. Which sometimes that helps. I just thought it was funny. He was like, oh, that, he saw you one day. And he was like, is that your husband? I was like, yeah. And he like a couple days later, he was like, that really young guy? And I'm like, <laughs> You're a fucking yeah. pedophile, man. No, literally, that's how he made me feel. And I was like... What the aren't fuck? you like so old? Like he looks so young. No, I'm just and no, and he thought that he was like, "Aren't you like 30? And I was like, "No, not yet. Like <laughs> soon, but not yet." Um, <laughs> fuck I, you. I, I'm born the same year Lavender Pants is. See if you can come up with that. Ha! Is that still his name though? Yeah, Lavender oh, Pants. It? What? <laughs> That's I all you got. It. And I only know, he's never told me that. Oh my god, somebody I actually thought you out. were born in 73. That no. is hilarious. <laughs> no, 73 is not my year. Somebody was like, 73, dude? I'm an 80s baby. That's Casey Tyler. Hit it on the I'm 26. Noggin. Jared's not 26. That's me. And Jared's 35. Well, I'm three years older than you, Floydian, or Kara's three years older. I don't know. I think, I think, isn't, I think seems logical is the same age as me, if I'm remembering right. I know Lindy Lewis. You know his real name now? You always knew his real name. Are we Who? talking about Jared? I don't get it. Oh, they're probably looking me up, looking up my cr criminal record and all kinds of shit now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should bring up your mugshot. You got a court date coming up there, pal. You look no, I don't. You look sad in your mugshots. Uh, who doesn't? Me. I looked angry. Um, thought I would thought he was thirty tops. Nope, nope. It's my oh, birthday aren't you this just month. Getting some I don't know. I'm, 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 bl I'm, bluff I'm blushing. I'm blushing. You already know that people think that though. So. Yeah, not if I grow my my whiskers out. <laughs> Your if, if I grow my beard out, it uh, I definitely don't look as young as I do clean shaven. I got some grays. Let's just say that I got some grays. I'm lucky I don't have it on too much of the top of my head. I got hat head right now, but uh, I definitely got it in the facial. Um, but not saying I wouldn't grow it out. I I would grow it out. I don't give a shit. Shane says his wife is thirty five. I'm probably the old man in the chat. 53. Um, it actually says that, um, I don't know about the chat right now, but for the subs, um, most of the people are between 25 and, and 45. 45, or 45 but yeah. then we have a large portion over 50, like between 50 and 70. So, yeah. It's a big, wide range. You know, it's weird, though. I think it only says we have 1% of girls or something, but we have quite a few girls that are sub to us. Yeah. They come to the well, chat. Well, you have to remember, some of them are using their men's pages, though. And, like, I know of a couple girls on here, so sometimes they're on their man's page, and then sometimes that's not going to register as a female watching us because how the fuck are they going to, you know what I mean? They're on that person's thing. That's why. Yeah, because I was born at the beginning of 86, that's why. Um, mo everybody I went to school with was mostly 85. Uh, but uh, but I still consider Russ a young man. Um, 53, I don't think, I don't feel like, like, really you're in, like, um... Yeah, I don't consider the, that... Like, old. elder, I wouldn't even say elder, I would say, no, like... 50 getting, is young. Fi yeah, like... I mean, I got uncles that, I mean, are still working in their 60, and they're working just as hard as they were when they were 30. I don't know, maybe, maybe not just like as hard, but yeah, they're still holding up like 20-year-olds. So, I mean, it just, I think it just depends on, on you. I think if you're somebody who, and I don't, I'm not trying to offend anybody who lays around, but, you know, it's um, like that whole thing in motion thing, you know, if you, a body, body in motion stays, stays in motion. motion, you know, body at rest stays at rest. I think if... You rest a lot. I think you will age a little faster than... And also, though, if you're abusing yourself, you're going to age faster, too. You'll probably look good up until a certain point, and then after one year, you'll just go down the hill. So yeah. I've seen a lot of people that do that. I've seen a lot of people that uh, were very abusive to their self, um, like working construction and drinking and just a lot of things. And then up until a certain age, they were you know, killing it. And then just after a certain age, they went dramatically downhill. 
their their health, their body, their everything. Man, your shit must be sealed or something. Why? What's wrong? I can't find you. Well, that's good. I Hopefully used to these be able to. I loved the picture. It was so I, cute. I don't want to draw any bad intention. First ATS-34 was on my first Benjamin knife. That's how old I am. <laughs> ATS-34 was on your first Benchmade knife. Um, Benchmades went through some steals, though. Um, they, I think they even used to use 440C, I believe. I think. I'm not 100% on that. Maybe I'm lying. Uh, oh, no. TPK. I thought she was Instagram only. I don't know what we're talking about. What? What I consider old changes every year. Yeah, I guarantee that's true, Russ. <laughs> that's funny. But I bet you that's the way it is for everybody. It's just like when you're younger, what you think of as old. Like right now, like I guarantee like a 10-year-old would consider me old. Right? But then once you turn 20, yeah. you realize you're like, that ain't that. old. <laughs> I remember that feeling. Oh, my God. I remember that, that age, that age when I thought teenagers were scary. I remember having this age where, like, I thought that a teen, like, when I was probably, like, six or seven, when I thought, like, a teen, like, teenagers were so scary because yeah. they were, like, bad. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I was, like, fuck. And I remember one time I was out in the forest fucking around, like, God knows what I was doing. I think I was, like, building a fort or some dumb shit or just fucking around. And I was with my brother, and all of a sudden, there's these teenagers out in the woods. Right? And my yeah. brother's like, oh, sh teen the bad, the bad kids teenagers. Are and I looked out and they like heard us and they like popped out and clearly were doing shit to scare us on purpose. Oh, and we didn't know them though, so it was really extra scary. My brother reacted in a totally normal way and just did some dumb shit back and was like, fuck you or something, you know, like moon number something. I, on the other hand, go into straight survival mo mode and take off running. And I ran through some mud. I went through straight through the middle of the forest, which was cattails in this yeah. particular forest. Complete mud, lost both my shoes in it, kept running, didn't go back for my shoes, got all the way home, and was like... <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> and then, like, 20 minutes later, my brother gets back, and he's like, where'd you go? <laughs> and I was like, the teenagers. <laughs> I was so scared. Yeah. And then I realized how dumb that was, so I, ne I never did that again. I bet it does, Alex. I bet it does. We uh, we are not parents, um, but but yeah, I, I can imagine. Um, and you know, even now though, like looking at age now, you know, people that are older and stuff. Like I, I honestly, I don't look at um, somebody as like. I, I feel like it's like age 65. Is I feel when like I, I really start, start looking at Maybe 70. I don't know. I know older. some people that are in their I don't even say old. I know some people that are in their 60s that don't, it doesn't almost ring any different than being in their 40s as long as they're, um, as long as they take care of themselves in a way right. where they're, right. you know, don't, they have the physical features of somebody getting older, but a lot of people. Well, even the physical features, I think it's just like how much you move around, how much yeah. you do. Like, are you still active? Are you still, you know, going out and doing things? And it doesn't mean you're out partying or going to the bar. I just mean, like, are you active? Do you work in your garage? Do you mow your lawn? Do you, do you know what I mean? Like, just doing stuff. And, like, I knew it. I had a teacher. Um, I think he was, like, 65 or 70, right? And he was the, the wrestling coach and the, um, the, uh, the weightlifting coach. This dude was ripped. Yeah. And not only was he ripped, but he was, like, scary. Like, and he didn't care nothing about losing his job. Not one bit. And yet, I think in the classroom, a bunch of gangbangers. And in any other class, right? Any other class they could be in, they'd be threatening the teacher. Yeah. Um, I even watched teachers get beat up. I watched one teacher get his back broke. Um, like, so much stupid stuff. That teacher, nobody messed with. Because he'd tell you right there, I will rip you out of that chair and beat the shit out of you. And he was not kidding. Like, he did not care at all. He said he promised you he didn't care about losing amazing. his job. And he promised you he didn't care about going to court and fighting a lawsuit. He said he would not be disrespected. And he was, like, super scary because he was so ripped. And everybody knew, like, if he got his hands on you, you were fucked. He's the wrestling coach and the weightlifting coach. Do you coach. know what I'm picturing as how the person looks when you're saying that? Is that, um... Oh, a ripped fuck. old man. No, it's leaving my head. It's a guy from like a, a, a show or a movie. Fuck, now I can't even remember. Never mind. What? What? Come I can't remember it. who it was. Okay. It, it was some I'm guy sorry. like that. 
okay. meaty fucking hands is what right, I'm thinking right, of. Right. Kind of like somebody like that guy from Bar Rescue, but not that guy. I, I can't think of who the fuck I'm thinking of. Kind of, but ripped. Yeah, 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 but there was like a person I'm thinking of. I don't know if it's someone you watch on YouTube. He was bald. He did have gray hair. I mean, he was old. He yeah, was I don't old, know. That's what I'm picturing, though. I fuck But his remember. attitude, too, like he'd cuss you out. He didn't hold back on nothing. I mean, and he would scare the life out of some of the, some of the students. And so they respected him, and when they came in his class, they sat down and they listened, but no other class what was, was like that. What was his class? You said he was a wrestling teacher. Well, he also had other... Did, oh, this class? is another thing. This is another something? thing. He was literally probably one of the most brilliant people I ever listened to. He was so intelligent. Or he just was one of the only ones you actually listened to. No, I listened to him because he was so intelligent. I know, but you guys probably didn't listen to nobody else because you were too busy fucking around and doing dumb shit. Probably, but Shoot listen, no, 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 balls no, and no, showing each other your glacks and shit. No, like, what, the what fuck I'm are saying you is, about? he's he was. He oh, was, you can get those in because you had metal detectors. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> listen, they got him in. No, oh, uh, <laughs> no, he was so smart. We did in my school. We got sent home over it a couple times. Yeah, we had our school shut down a few times over guns. But yeah. usually, though, they got caught. Um, But he was so smart, like, when he would talk about things, right? Like, when he talked about science, like, he could almost talk about anything. And it seemed like he knew everything about the subject. You must have went to a shitty school if your wrestling coach was your science yeah. teacher. Well, but he wasn't. Spread thin. Wait a second, wait a second. He wasn't my wrestling coach. I'm, just, I'm saying he was oh, a wrestling coach. okay, so he wasn't like the gym teacher also. No, no, Got he, it. no I he, wasn't my, he wasn't my teacher. Because there teacher. are teachers that do the team coaches yes, and right, have right. nothing to do with gym right, or right, anything. Right. Got he, it. Right, so I don't... Douglas know. did not move. I fucking hate when you guys... He's had enough today, Douglas. <laughs> Stand in the corner. Yeah, he's on a timeout um, when he fucking moves without asking. But anyways, he uh, but he was super brilliant though. Like he was so smart and fascinating with some of the subjects and some of the things he knew. He could keep you actually if you did start paying attention. He actually could keep you listening because he was so smart. Yeah. But uh, did you, did you ever have to stand in the corner? In school. Yeah. No. When I, uh... What the fuck? How old were you? Uh, kindergarten and preschool. Oh! For that age, maybe, but I don't remember. I don't doubt they didn't do it all at the sixth grade because it was a, a Baptist school. I went to Baptist school. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's kind of weird. Well, they also like, they also hit you, too, though. So. I remember... What I remember distinctly from kindergarten was we had a stall in the classroom, a bathroom stall in the classroom. Did you have that? Bathroom stall in the bat in the classroom. Yeah, I swear. And what are you talking about? I don't know. Have you ever had those things when you're, you're like, like a one room, you know, like listen, you open up the room and there was no. a bathroom? <laughs> talking about a stall, like when you walk into a bathroom and you see a what single are you stall. Talking listen, about? and I think it was in there because maybe some of the kids were still potty training because, like, unfortunately, there are kids who don't get potty trained by five years old, or kids who still have accidents, or kids who have accidents because it's their first year at school and they're going whack or something, like just for not being at home. And I swear on my life, good night, Alex. Bye, Alex. Later. Thank you for coming. Thank Thanks you for the donation, bud. Um, and I swear, there was a bathroom stall in there with, like, a smaller toilet for the kids. And it had a, a, a thing on it, like, a sign on it of, like, occupied or not occupied. It was just, like, hanging on the, on the handle, though. And I remember a kid blowing that fucking shit up and it being in the classroom. And we all were lined up trying to go to, like, eat our snack or something or go to music, and it stunk, and we all made fun of him, and we got in trouble for Immature it. Immature little brat. I, I don't know if that's one of no, those things. I, you couldn't have went to that school that no, listen, I went listen, to. listen, I just what have to fuck? say this. I don't know if that's... You know how your little kid brain changes memories? Yes, I do. I feel like that might be one of those things, where the stall really wasn't in there, but it was somewhere close to the class. It was classroom. probably, like I just said, it was probably a door, opened it up, and there was a bathroom. No, it was a stall. Because I remember it was green and red painted. Okay. Um, so when, um, uh, okay, when I was in preschool and kindergarten, we wouldn't have been able to go there if we did, did that. Like, this school hit you. So, like, you would have been punished. If, like, like there was little things you'd get punished for that were out of line. Like, yeah. now I know how abusive it was. And, like, like <laughs> say if you were talking or whispering, they came by and smacked you in the hand with a ruler. You got the pal, you got all that shit. Um, but... I only I went there for kindergarten and preschool, and I spent a lot of time in that corner, um, because that, that was like the first, like that was like the second line. I you think got the, no respect. 
Anyways, but um, you can't respect your elders. I went to a school with no walls. What? Yeah. It was just a roof, a floating roof. Well, except for the Would gym, you go to school on the gym moon? and bathroom, gym and bathrooms. That was it. Everything else was separated by book sh bookshelves and chalkboards. That boards. doesn't sound like a very structurally sound building. There was no. Yeah, it sucked during like, load bearing walls in the whole building. It was well, just four fucking walls, and that was it. Uh, um, the office, the office had a couple walls. Um, the gym had walls, and the bathrooms had walls. Otherwise, I mean, it was I all had wide the separating open. walls in school too, but not all the classrooms class. were built by that. So all the classrooms were built by those separating walls, like chalkboards and stuff. Yeah. Like you could literally throw something over them to the other class. If when there was a fight in I the school, chalkboards would get walls. knocked down. Like that's just the way it was. Yeah. Um, and then also there, the oh my god, I remember like during some years, like <laughs> the office had a couple of walls. <laughs> <laughs> um, the the heat was out one year, and um. It was so cold. Oh, my God, was it cold. Then I also remember the air conditioning being out and yeah. it being so fucking hot. They even let us make paper fans. We all made paper fans, and all day long we were paper fans ourselves because we were just dripping with sweat. You know, that it actually so makes bad. you hotter. I, I, I don't doubt it, but when you're that my hot, you will My mom's dad do was like, I think he was an engineer or he did something like that. And I don't really know him, but when I, she told me, when I was younger, I knew him, and... He would, that was something I always remember, these weird fucking things he would tell me about stuff like that that stuck with me. And one of them was that fanning yourself is pointless. It doesn't cool you down. Because at that point, the energy you're taking to move is going to warm you up even more by the end of it all. You think it feels better, but it, you're actually internally warming yourself up from the motion mm -hmm. of doing this. Yeah. And I just remember always thinking about that and being like, I'm not going to fan myself. Yeah. Well, I, the, the teacher said that, too. The teacher said, don't fan too much because it'll just make you hotter. But when you're Did sitting... They? Yeah, because, but when you're sitting there dripping with sweat... You just want to feel the breeze. You just want to feel the breeze. No pun intended, breeze! Breeze! You just want to you just want to let breeze feel on you a little bit. I want my, um... Where's my goblin? I gotta tell him about it. Your what? My goblin! You had it last, Oh, my sweetheart. God, don't tell And they've tell seen me a video on it, just goblin. so you know. Okay, but they don't care unless I talk well, about it. Well, then go it. get it. If you talked then about it... Then go get it! Wait, you had a teacher oh. that carried a hammer around the classroom, and when she would get mad, she would hit the hammer on anything near her? Wow. Wait, like a, like a judge gavel or, like, a full-on, like, hammer? Like a nail hammer? Because I want to know. It was probably like a judge hammer. <laughs> That's something like a gavel. Yeah. Is that what they're called? Gavels? Yeah. Yeah. Did not know that. Like a legit hammer. Interesting. She was yeah, a did nun? she hit kids with the hammer? Like a legit hammer. Damn. That's really. Including kids. Yeah, so like the Baptist school. MC hammer? <laughs> the Baptist school I went to used uh, a paddle and then um the big um rulers, you know, the big thick, you know, wide rulers, and they'd use that. And like if you were talking, like you'd be sitting there and you bam, you'd feel on your hand. Sometimes they'd make you hold your hand out so they could just smack the shit out of it. Where, where's the little But you know street? what's crazy though? Where is it? Baby, they're all put away. I told you I cleaned Ooh. this off today. You cleaned Yesterday. it off except for the newest knives. Good idea. No, I cleaned Good it off except idea. for the knives that are leaving. Where is the little main street going? Is it leaving? It should. <laughs> we got another concept, concept knife coming, just so you guys concept. know. I was No, it's concept. I like saying concept. Well, we got another concept coming. Cancept. So the concept got a hold of us Cancept. and um, is sending us another knife, which is awesome by them. Yeah, one for Jared's big fucking hands, not mine. Um... She that. would hit the desk and chalkboard if you didn't do your homework. I could see that. Pow! Damn. Sounds like my Uncle Billy. My Uncle Billy used to do that shit. Like, when we'd be on the job site, he'd fucking, uh, he'd hit the walls. And, like, when he was driving, he'd hit the ceiling of the box truck. And he'd rattle everything. be loud as shit. Get your attention. I remember one time he had my, my little cousin, which is his son. Because yeah, he always acted up on the job site. You know, remember, we're on a construction site, yes. so it's very dangerous. Yeah. And he put a penny on the wall, or a nickel or something, and made him put his finger on it. And said, if I hear that fucking nickel hit the ground. That's so smart. He's like, he's like I'm going to, and he had a nail gun. He's running around doing nail gun shit. He's like, I'm going to fucking shoot you. 
you know. And so Jake sat there for like 20 minutes. But, you know, your I'm arm. I'm surprised he could do that. Well, because he was scared at this point. I know, you know? but ADD but doesn't stop I know. Scared. Well, but trust me, he was fucking around the entire time. Like, he was probably doing donuts with yeah. him, trying to figure out how to pick it up. He couldn't get it yeah, off the wall. Wait, why you couldn't you just him, do this? You've seen him trying to do all kinds of weird shit, right? Scooting yeah. it and stuff. And then finally, while he's attempting to do that, you hear, ting! And then you hear Billy start shooting nails across the, the house. Not at him, but, you know, like in the direction. So you can hear the nails hitting the wall. Ta-ting! Pa-pa, ta-ting! Pa-pa. It was hilarious, so. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but it was hilarious. Hey, bro, your mom is watching the video. My mom left out. She said she'd talk to me later. Um, I don't think... Um, don't is the little Main Street... Any okay, easier yeah. to so, open after so, carrying So let's talk about it. I didn't even It's easy to, to open, just not easy to close. I haven't even actually... Go grab it. Okay. I haven't... Damn got... you, woman. Don't you say anything about it while I'm gone. Right there. Nothing. Right there. Not a word. No, it's in the... It's in the thing. No, no. Right there. It's, it's in there. Lift stuff. There's nothing to lift. You don't see it in there? It's not in there? No. Uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry, baby. It's in the box, I think. It's in its box. Right here. Un no, right here. Yep. It's in there. You have the goblin, though. So, um... Mm. The fate safety... What? Hold on a second. The safety feature removed oh, from the tower? nail gun. No, what he would do is he would hold the thing... Because you can take a nail gun and you can hold the thing back on the top and just shoot. The same thing, like, when you when you push a nail gun to, like, say, a surface, it goes like this. It goes... And once that, 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 the, the tip compresses, then you can just shoot. Well, you can grab the top of it and you can pull it back. So you can pull it back and just pop, 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 pop. Um, I watched my Uncle Billy shoot himself in the leg a couple times. Oh, I see him shoot himself in the leg once. Um, I shot, but I know he's been shot many times, but I watched him one time. Um, I shot myself in the hand one time. Um, from the other side, so I was ha! kneeling like this, and I was Someone holding, <laughs> I was holding, um, I think it was a header, I think I was putting a header together, anyways, point is, I was compressing wood together, and I was shooting like this, and the nail was long enough to go through, and it went through, and then stabbed into me, so it wasn't long enough after it went all the way through to go all the way through, but it went into my hand and almost through, and it hurt like a son of a bitch. Ah! And then you got to pull your hand out. I absolutely love my Cancer Pelican. So, Stasa, man, I should have talked to you because you've had some of the, the, the concept knives. They asked me to pick another one out, a larger one, you know, like a Kim Ning design or something. Um, and I picked out, damn it, I picked out the one with green micarta. I, um... I wasn't sure which one to pick. I thought about picking the brand new one that they just dropped. The uh, what's it called? The acceptator or something? What was it? Acceptator. Acceptator. I thought about picking out that one, and then I thought about the whatever the other names are. What is it? The shard. The that... shard. The acceptator. The whatever. And you asked, and now you're whatever. Well, Amy. no, I'm saying that those are the only two I can think of. Well, um, me... Sorry, baby. But I wound up picking out the one with the green my card. Do you remember the name of that one? No. Nope, Which one? Don't. There was a few. The one with the green my card. There's a couple they do with green my card. There's right. one with the bolster with thumb studs. No. And then there's one where no. they're running down the middle. Yeah, that one. I thought that was the acipitated. No. I don't think so. Maybe. I don't think so. I thought that one was in carbon fiber. Go ahead. So, no, on the clothes it did not get any shing, easier. Shing. Probably shouldn't do the that. My card one's pretty easy, though. Well, Stasa says the my card is not the best. For what? This. Oh, oh no, he's talking about the other one. I don't think this micarta is... Dang it! It's a front flipper, I think. No, their micarta That's is the... not good. I... Cairo? Cairo? K Cryo? Cryo. K-R-Y-O. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Does it have a tiny bit of recurve? I don't think so. Teeny weeny? I don't think so. No? Maybe. Okay. So, their micarta I do not think is very good. The green micarta on the one I picked looked better than this, but I don't know until oh, I got it. Oh, Kara, I forgot about that. What? I'm talking to myself. The thoughts about the Hitman games. I have Hitman 2. I haven't played Hitman 1 since I was much younger, uh, to where I don't really like have an opinion on it, because I didn't really care. Yes, we did make a um, micarta video. Go ahead, keep going. Um, I think they're fun for just chilling. If you're, like, kind of bored of something better, 
but my overall opinion is it's too guided. I'm not a linear game person, like, I would never really enjoy playing most, like, Call of Duty campaigns, things like that. It's too linear, but even those require a little more skill. Uh, for those of you that don't know, the Hitman video games is basically you're a Hitman, you have a little bit of an arsenal, you know, and you get sent on these missions to, like, infiltrate a house and, like, get your target or whatever. And it's fun, but it just is, like... It just feels very guided, and I feel like the skill is a lot more minimal, and yeah, you can set up traps, and you can do this, and you can do that, but the game has it all laid out for you. It's just kind of like, which one are you going to pick? It's pretty hard to not get it to work. So my opinion is, is, not that it's easy, but it's just too guided. Like, I'd like it to be more free reign, like, for anyone that's played Far Cry, infiltrating an outpost in, like, Far Cry 5, Far Cry New Dawn. Twisted Metal, holy four. shit. Do you remember that game, Twisted Metal? No. It was a car game where you, uh, you had these cars, and it was, it was kind of like Demolition Derby with guns. Anyways, Stasi, you should definitely get a hold of the concept, because right now I think they're trying to get knives out to... To uh, um, reviewers, this is going to be the fourth one they're sending us. Granted, the two were the same knife, and they're little tiny knives, and so then the goblin. Can I say something so about these knives? I, I would definitely check it out. Ugh, this one makes me so I mad. Know, I know. So mad. Give that, me that one. That's why they're going to send us another one because, man, this liner on this one is so, it's so hard. Bad. It doesn't even make sense that this is like this. Um, no, I did not fix the bacon or the the shaman. Um, the micarta shaman. Yet, I haven't taken it apart yet. I'm going to do that soon. I can't think of why it's doing that, though, because I never had any issues with it. It never had play, and for some reason now it has play, and even though it's very tight, like, it's tighter than it was when I first got it, and it was very smooth, so... I don't so, know. I don't know. Can I say about this? Yeah, yeah. with the clown guy. <laughs> I'm going to fuck you up. Yeah, go ahead, baby. Sorry. Um... Don't fuck me up. I will. I know you will. That's why I don't... I was halfway through explaining the Far Cry outpost infiltration. And you can continue. And how they require more skill you can, and you can do whatever the fuck you want. Okay. And I brought up Twisted Metal and segued your ass right out of video games. Well, actually, I possible. didn't bring up Twisted no, Metal. You, you commented on the comment to use yeah. it as a moment to be like, oh yeah, I'm talking about what you're talking about. And then, boom, right Everybody back Everybody knows about it, though. Everybody's That's talking fine. about it, though. That's fine. I'm technically, I'm going to blame That's it on... That's uh, fine, but you talked about it for point two. Casey seconds. Tyler. It was you Casey Tyler's fault. talked about it for fault. point two seconds. So, if you want to blame went, anybody, peace. go after Casey Tyler. No, I don't mind Casey Tyler. What I mind is you using it as an excuse and a little bit of a bridge to get your ass right back well, out Not his address. No, I, I need you one address, and it's yours, and I've got it, and it's right fucking next to me. One, two, three, I'm gonna fuck you up, street. All right, so anyway, this knife, the little main street, I am so upset about it, and I don't mean to bash cancer, um, but I, no, I need both. Um, I don't mean to bash them, but, like, if, if I bought... This, the carbon fiber one, which is the one with the weird liner, which I don't know if all of them would be like that, or if there's micarta ones like that, or if it's The micarta just... one seems good. Right, I'm saying, I don't know if, if we bought another two. Right, yeah. and Would the micarta one be like that? Would this one be okay? I don't know. I or is it all, all of the, the carbon, carbon fiber, fiber ones? are going to be like that. I do. We don't know. The point is, is that it's got, if you guys look, so I will show you this we'll one. Do that. Uh, this is the micarta one. I don't know if you're noticing. This is a super small knife. Look at that drop. It's insane. It is for very how smooth. small yeah. for a blade to just free fall. And I'm not talking about like a short, like when you have a light blade and you have to shake it in and it still drops. No, this thing literally is like it's very smooth. Guillotine as possible. Like for that size. Yeah. yeah like look at this. You know, and I slowed it down by touching the back of the blade there, so it wouldn't cut me. Look at that. That This is a teeny tiny knife, and I'm stopping it with my thumb. Now, my issue lies with the liner on the carbon fiber one. It's just, there's something wrong with it, I feel it's like. It's just, there's no cutout. The lockup is hella early, so it's already, like, there's no, no like, leverage to push on, push on <laughs> because it's super early. And there's no cutout, which sometimes is okay, but I have small fingers and I can't get yeah. my shit in there. Like, I literally have I to sit here in the video. and grab it and pinch I said that with in the my video nail. Too. 
I said that I can't get my fingers in there with the big bite. I said, but you can't either. So if if you can't, then... The detent's not as good on this one either. It's not as so? snappy. I thought the detents were good. We're, we'll send it's them to Stoss and the check out. It's not as good. So if he wants to um, uh, mess with it, he can, but... Okay, you can have the, this one back. Okay. Um, so, but, like, if you look at the detent on this one, it's when I middle finger it, it's so, on the micarta one. Look at that. Pow. You know, it's very much like, check it out. Check it out. No, I, no, no, do a detent, do a detent check. Check it out. Just really think about it. I think it's better on I that one. I don't think so. I think they're, I think the detent is about the same. I just think the liner, okay, it might be a little bit better. Yeah, it might be a little bit better. It's definitely a little bit more drop shutty. Like, look at it. It is very... They're still tight even yes, for... Yes, send it to Stasa yeah, so that he can fix it. And then maybe... He could just check he them out, He could do too. it to both, too. And he can check them out. You know, though, I see this being... I mean, this... I know it's, it's a tiny good. knife, but these are really useful, good little knives well, for a lot of people. I could see a lot of people getting, like, somebody this knife for as a gift. This could be a stocking gift. It could be a girlfriend's gift. Even somebody like a guy who works in an office and just needs a good little blade. These are good. I mean, it's 154 cm. The carbon fiber isn't real. And the micarta is crap, in my opinion. But it's still a decent little knife. And the micarta one, man, it, it's very, very smooth. I just, I, I want to get them fixed because, especially because they gave us two, I really wanted to Thank give you, one Stasa. away. But I don't want to do that if they're shitty, you know what I mean? So I want Oh to yeah, I already thought about that. Like I would hate to just give one of these away because it'd be like we we hate the liners on them. Uh we're going to do a giveaway. <laughs> I think I know what we can do with it, but I'll tell you later. We can fix them um, and then um Everyone is tired apparently. Seems okay, logical. Well, is yawning a lot and he's trying to stick it out for us. Okay, it's almost 9:30. Right, really right, shit. Right. Oh shit. Okay, yeah, we'll end it in three minutes. Three All minutes, All right, well, guys. in that last three minutes, I'm going to tell you guys, this Goblin, on the other hand, because i got to end on a good note, is amazing. I love it. It doesn't even have Jared's edge on it, and it was killing it at my job, which I use a lot. I cut straps with it, boxes, very thick cardboard boxes, like quadruple thick layers of bullshit. Ask Stasa what he thinks about it, because he has one. What do you Stasa think about has it, a goblin. Stasa? Don't you have do you a goblin? Know the answer or something? No, You're well, saying that like you know the answer. I seen some. I seen his video on it, but Stasa. But he, things change. When I seen his video, I think it was like in first impressions. So he was still wondering. So Stasa, my you only have, thing is he the loves ergos. it. There you go. My only thing is the ergos for my hand are just a little weird. Like I want to rest my finger in the lock bar cutout, but that's too far back. And there's not really a good like spot, so it's kind of just like on this weird point. So it's I just like a it. little weird. It's just a little weird. Like, I want there to be jimping since it's so small. Smaller knives really, in my opinion, should follow, like, what Vox does and put jimping in the middle of the blade because this is a very slick blade. And since there's not a good locking position for my hand or a good, like, sweat, like, a, like a good chamfer right here for me to dig into, I then I, I want some more grip just a here that, bit. you know, yeah. if I'm not going to get the grip on the butt. Like, this is very slick. And I'm normally a I don't give a fuck about jimping person. So for me to say that says something, but man, the frame is smooth. The hole works great. The front flipper works great. Uh, you know, everything about it. I can even like do this weird like curl over thing with my finger that's fun to do. <laughs> Sass so says, wait, Good he to review. He felt Good the same way. Yeah, really? I, I, I think it's super fidgety. It is yeah, a good I, little Stasa knife. and I, I always agree with Stasa on knives. I feel like if I want to know if a knife is good, I, I go with Stasa's. I will say opinion. this, though, and I said this in my uh, first impressions, that the jimping for the top flipper does wind up in a spot where you can use the jimping, but it's back here a little bit. So, but... Yeah, I see what you mean. Like, they it'd wanna, be nice to have They want to know um, what before... James Bond James. says, can we say both of our first knives before we end the live? Yes. So we have one minute left, so let's do that. Okay. Go ahead, baby. My first knife ever, I can't tell you what it was because it was some, like, grandpa knife when I was a kid. No, it, it wasn't. It was probably a Rough Rider, probably is what it was. Um, and then I rem I definitely remember having one from Bass Pro Shop, so it probably was either a Kershaw Gerb or something like that. But my true, like, first, like, knife knife that I carried every single day was given to me by Jared. Why don't you tell him what your knife expertise got me? 
I don't want to talk about it. Listen. He got me a Smith and Wesson. I an got, assisted peak okay, knife. Okay, I got her an assisted Smith and Wesson peak knife because, hear me out, I honestly wasn't sure if it was going to be just a drawer knife and she'd never carry it or she'd actually carry it. I figured, you let me just. spent that same amount of money on something a lot better, though. You wound up getting a better knife really quick after. So, let me. Actually, I carried that thing for a solid fucking year. Let me finish. So, I knew Sorry. if she did carry it, she would totally want a, a good knife, and she totally would. I don't even it. like pink, seems logical. That's a funny thing. And but, he knows that. Well, actually, before that, though, we did go in some knives, and you looked at some knives, and you're like, oh, look, a pink one. That's what yeah, you did. Yeah, but I see that anytime I see a color That's what made in a colorless thing. Anyway, so, you know, I knew, like though, pink. that she, if she did carry it, which she wound up carrying it, so then she wound up liking it and wound up getting a new knife, another knife, pretty quick. It was, I, I carried it until it started opening on its own in my pocket. Yeah, we actually still have it. Smith & Wesson would do that after It's such a, a good knife, it's, we still have it. That's yeah. how good of a knife it is. Well, I mean, I used the <laughs> shit out of it. And uh, I think the next thing, so you had the Kershaw Zing. Like, when we first met, the first knives, we got each other. I got him an assisted Kershaw Zing. He got me the Pink Smith & Wesson. And then you, on your own, got the Kershaw Leak. And I remember I got annoyed with you because it was expensive. S2K, Ooh. thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, S2K. My Great first... show always. Much love. Night, guys. Thank Good you. Night. Thank you so much, man. We appreciate that. We appreciate all the donations, man. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everybody who's donated. My first knife was like, it was kind of like a buck 110. It wasn't a buck 110, though, because it was bigger than a buck 110. I remember it was massive, and I was very little. I was like five or six, maybe six and a half. And it was so big, I could barely open it. To close it, I had to, like, push the back lock against the table. And, <clears throat> um, but it was big. It was like a shrade. I'm guessing it was a shrade because shrade has a couple that are very similar to the Buck 110 that are a little bit bigger. So, uh, but there you guys go. And if you guys want to name your guys' first knives, go ahead. Well, let me say, though, that my first real, like, good knife after the Smith, Smith & Wesson, I think, was the Rake P801, right? I agree, James Bond. Wasn't it the Rake P801? That was my your next... Your first legit? My first, like, in, it would be more accepted in the knife community. It was that. Was it that? It was, yeah, that. It was that. And how the fuck did that fit in my pocket? I made it work, though. I did make that shit work. Suck, but I have a Smith and Wesson. Mine I was a sack. I had some. Oh, decent, I had a sack when I was a kid too. I had some decent um, Smith and Wesson knives, like from AutoZone. They sold like twelve bucks, and they were a decent knife. But compared mm -hmm. to good, good knives, they're they're not. Dang, logical start out with a mini grip. That's a that's a good first knife. Damn. I'm surprised you would drop that money. Even an Endura, on a, a Delica. What? Well, ninety two Delica. Still. I know, but I don't think they were as much money back then. Although yeah, the economy not. wasn't yeah, was different exactly. too, so maybe it was. Milwaukee box cut. Milwaukee box cutters. Oh, I don't think that shittiest counts. knife of until the I got a pair of three. No, that's a pretty good jump. Milwaukee that's box a huge cutters, jump. A pair of three. See, I I don't think I ever would have got it if just jumped into a knife that was over a hundred bucks. That would have seemed like a yeah, lot. Yeah, I definitely went through a lot of. 10, 15, 20, 50, 60 dollar knives well, before I ever. Well, I had like um, custom fixed blades when I was younger, but for po folding pocket knives, like the most I spent for a long time was like 70, 80 bucks max because I just couldn't fathom buying a knife I was going to take to a construction site and possibly yeah, break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I lost. Like, I literally would sometimes would go through two to three pocket you knives in a, a month. Though, I, I went through a lot of Kershaws, I went through a lot of Kershaws. You know, um, I, um, the girl, this one girl I work with who's recently gotten into knives because of, you know, me and our channel and stuff, she, I gave, I gave her the first one, which was a, I just um, sharpened this knife a for her. A cut jack. No, 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 not, uh, not the one I'm talking about, the other she's one. She's gotten so many Cut jack, I knives. gave her a cut jack, and she went from cut jack to a Kubi that was like 40 bucks. And then she upped it to a couple Kaisers. She got the Leave, the Mini, Dolman, 
I think maybe even the mini bag ladder too. This is all and then, a small listen, period of time. Listen, she goes from that, those four, right? All like $50 and under to a fucking Techno 2 with like Primo Anno on it. That's awesome. She buys another Techno 2. She bought two of them? Two of them with different Why? designs. Why? Because of the different designs. She gets Holy one of these shit. crazy like you guys hearing this stuff? teal green one with like this rainbow fucking Anno that's like etched in a pattern Does on she top work of at other Starbucks Anno. or just Target? No, she works for me. So this is a Starbucks girl out knifing you motherfucker. And you then she got shit? another Techno 2. Out knifing you. It was solid gray. <laughs> Solid titanium, but then it, it had an acid etched pattern on it. Okay. That's crazy. Um, and I like she lost it. She lost the second one she got. She buys a duplicate. You know how much you have to like a knife to buy a duplicate right out the gate? And she, I was like, why'd you do that? And she's like, cause I won them both on eBay. And I was like, what the fuck? And I'm just that's that's in that's some that's insane. Like, in a good way, but still insane. Here, here it is. Let this me read these last comments. Go ahead. No, show them. Show them. This is the one she got. The the one. The other one looks pretty much like this, but it is acid etched with, like, a, a circle pattern. Like, just gray. You know, a like gray acid etched pattern. Techno 2. Spyderco Techno 2. Um, Benjamin Kim says, my first... Wait, no, hold on. Let me go to Crab first. Crab with a knife says, it took me so long to be able to break $100. Tucson is the only reason I was ever able to make myself do it, and that's a good knife to do it with. Uh, my first knife was a Spyderco that had a serrated claw blade with ATS-55 steel, I think. Laugh out loud. Almost 30 years ago. Nice. My first knife was a 4-inch cold steel with a 5mm thick blade. Holy cow, that's a thick blade. I got it when I was 10 <laughs> and carried it everywhere. I scared so many people. I bet you did. I did it when I was like 5 or 6 with that one knife. I scared everybody too because when I pulled it out, I'd have to muscle it open. And it was so big. Like, I'd be like, blink. Like, it was like a sword. Um, uh... Wait, first knife was a, a Kaiser Supreme to, Amigo. Is that different than Kaiser or was that No, I think it's Kaiser. Oh, okay. It's okay. Um, from, that's from Bra I Blades. I think the knife the, she got is. From the Blades I think love. so, but I, she got it from somebody on eBay. And the fucked up thing was, I'm going to tell you guys this is a little PSA before we go. When she went to go buy that knife I showed you on eBay, she was asking me to help her because she's never done eBay and she felt like some things were shady about it. There was two, there's actually multiple sellers on there who sell this exact knife with the same picture. Oh, same really? Pattern, yeah, same that's everything. scary. And it might be the one picture from Blades We Love and they're just different sellers selling them, which yeah. is understandable. However, she won it from two people, right? The same exact thing. She wound up going with this guy because he was willing to send her a video. She was like, can you please just send me a video, like, of the knife and blah, blah, And he was like, sure, what's your email address? And did it. The other guy was like, no, are you going to pay? Are you going to pay? Listen, I need to know. I'm going to the post office now. And she's like, I will. Can you just send me a video so I know it's legit? Right. And I'm like, well, Get maybe. That guy. I was like, maybe he was acting like that because you already won the auction. And, like, it's kind of like a thing, like, that. You well, really, that, if you win, like, it's kind of a dickhead move to not purchase the thing you sat there and bid on it and all this stuff. Why didn't you ask, you know, before or whatever. But to me, if it's not, sending a video in this day and age is not a big deal. No. If somebody's going to buy it, right? Especially, yeah. He right, wouldn't right. do it. He would not do yeah, it. And that was that, that same picture. So I'm just saying. Another thing, though, yeah, he probably took that guy's picture and reused it. But And I told her, I said, next time, always, all you got to do is have him send a picture with your name in it or like a number you request or something. Always look at their history. You, that's how I, I, I never do an eBay purchase off of anybody that doesn't have good reviews, doesn't have a, because uh, they have like a 99% uh, like efficient thing, like where it tells them yeah. if they have like good results, meaning that they send their packages. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's, uh, I'm going to answer these last couple. People have been stealing in the auctions lately. Always when I go to sleep, somebody <laughs> won a TS200. I was watching... For, for 50, 50 bucks, bucks I've all cried. I've done that so many times. Crap with a knife. So many times, I literally um, thought I was going to win. Nobody was bidding on it. And then wound up passing out like 15 minutes before. <laughs> and then, bam, somebody swooped in. That's how you got to do it, though. You got to swoop in the last five minutes. Don't even bid on it. Don't bid on the knife at all. Just watch it. Yeah, you don't want to up it. the bid for no reason. Don't bid on it at all. Let everybody yeah. else bid on it. And then... Get in there five minutes before, and bam! Woo! 
Ooh. Mark, thank you, bud. Thank you. Next we appreciate time. that. Somebody else got Are they just like telling us to go? Is, Everyone's damn. like keeps donating and being like, bye. Yeah, get the fuck, fuck out of here, you. guys. I'm paying you to shut this motherfucker <laughs> off. Um, Man, two, a TS-221 for 42 bucks. That's a fantastic price. I love you guys. Peace. Goodbye. 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 You gonna sing? I don't know what to sing. Sing something from your shirt. I did that last week. I don't okay. like to do the same thing over and over. Oh my god, I don't know what to sing. I don't know what to sing. I'm having a panic attack. Uh, uh. Come on, baby. Um. Sing some arrow no, smiles. Sing some arrow no, 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 no. I don't really have care. It was coming to me. It was they got some fire ass songs. Goodbye, Ruby Tuesday. Who could have sung you? And if we came with every new day, stop, 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 stop.